everyone. Welcome to Season 2, Episode 2 of Into the Mist, our Curse of Strahd campaign. Uh, lots of announcements that I don't have up on my phone right now because we had some technical issues again. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just going to bring them up. And how are you guys doing at the table? Quite today? good. Good. Quite good. good. Yeah. Quite good. Quite good. Okay. I, don't, I don't know about this lumberjack we brought in, but uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> he's the best. Yeah. He sounds all right, eh? You know, he's pretty cool, eh? Oh, he's right. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. He's all right. Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Want to welcome Nora again to the game, of course. Hey, Hello. Nora. As Hi, Esmeralda, as usual. We had an incredible <laughs> season premiere with Matt Mercer on Saturday night. If you didn't watch it, go right? back and watch it after this um, and catch up. Huge shout out to Dungeons and Dragons. We should be live on their channel as well, as well as our own. Uh, we have a new title sponsor, Beetle and Grimms. Yeah. Hey. We don't have a little card that comes up yet, but we will, Beetle and Grimms. But we want to thank you for making this possible. Uh, and we are powered by Sirenscape. They are another main title sponsor as well. Sirenscape is an incredible fantasy player. You can check them out at www.sirenscape.com slash realmsmith. And the sound sets that we use in this game live every Monday night are on Sirenscape. So if you go to slash Realmsmith in the search bar, type Realmsmith, and it'll come up with all of the um, the sound sets. And what is the Beetle and Grimm's website? Beetleandgrimm's.com. There we go. Yeah, they make incredible top tier uh, premier? Premier premium? Premium. Premium, premium, boxes premium, premium. For Dungeons and Dragons. Premium premium uh, boxes. And there will be a little alert in our future um, soon in the next yes. couple episodes. So I'm oh, uh, very excited nice. to have him back as well. Uh, our product sponsors, of course, we want to thank WizKids. Actually, have something to show. Just that. got these in, wasn't even able to take them out of the box. This is the new, you can't see them up close because is that other camera working yet? That is humongous. Nope. Yeah. Pass it forward! Pass it forward. Wow. That is the Ooh. Sapphire Ooh, Dragon. Yes. Wow. Yes. Uh, which was so just blue. sent to me can by I, can I, can I, V Muse. It, show? It's, you from can almost. Kids, some, oh, there, oh there, there that's the sweet spot. Wow. That's a wow. Nice wow. Wait till you see this one. <laughs> wow. That's wow. Wow. No, the, the <laughs> wow. Okay, pass wow. back. Wow. Enough wow. wows. Wow. <laughs> and. Oh. 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 Hey. Adult White Dragon. These are good what? sizes for dragons, wow, too. Just, like, this is which is dragon. awesome. You can't see wow. that one at all. But oh, it's it's not your grandfather's though. dragon. It's the oh, the There's box. Look yeah, at that. The side. Look at that. Oh, it's boy. pretty awesome. So it's got weight. we'll unbox it at oh, some point yeah. and get it onto the table. Um, and uh, <laughs> it's point, awesome, so thank you. At which point do these transfer from miniatures to gargantuan? Bigatures? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> all right. I want to thank... They're Yeah, that's right. Dwarven Forge, as usual, this uh, this windmill, I actually painted the unpainted version of the castle set. This is from oh, the castle cool. builder set. Um, you can go to the mini cam if you like there, the overcam. Uh, Julian, we can kind of take a look at it. Uh, I painted it all up last Ooh. night, and I made these uh, windmill shot. veins um, out of a bunch of stuff that I usually do. So anyway, so, cool. so we crafted that. Wanted to make sure you guys had a really cool set for this upcoming session. Oh, um, and Hero Forge. Yes! Who is an incredible um, website where you can go and create custom miniatures. We actually painted Falfer, yes. who is actually currently, he's in the building. So oh, you will see him. Falfer's in the building! <laughs> you will see him a little later. That was uh, really uh, weird. Uh, uh, right? Awesome, yeah. I will be I posting photos. <laughs> oh, I will be oh, posting yeah. photos of him and the rest of the cast's <laughs> miniatures over the next uh, week or so oh. as I paint them up for next session. Um, and thank you oh, to Hero Forge. Little tiny pies. Yes. <laughs> uh, Mithril Armory. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Uh, Woo! Woo! Yes. <laughs> They are currently at the table with us, uh, and they just launched their new Kickstarter for the Tin 20, which is a D20 in your pocket. Um, and we can get over Cam there. Yeah, shut up. Come on, come on. Come on, Julian. Julian. There we go. Hey. Uh, you basically pop it out, you fold it up, and it becomes a really resilient, really random D20. 
Yeah. Uh, for when you're on the go and you need a D20 in an emergency situation. Don't leave home without it. When making, when making life decisions. I love that people on Reddit are actually saying, yeah, great idea for emergencies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so people are kind of joking, but people are Dave, like, you have beautiful yeah. hands. Yeah. 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 Hand model. You have to be ready. Yeah. 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 I, I think they're 4,000% funded. We're, no, 400%. No, four, we're 700 percent funded. 700 percent funded, yeah. well uh, which is pretty awesome. So check them out at MithralArmory.com. Are you guys doing a giveaway tonight? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We haven't yeah. set up like, yet, yeah. though. Yeah. yeah, we haven't set up. We actually don't have another giveaway for tonight, so we can do that if you can want. Can we do two Mithril mm -hmm. Armory giveaways? Sure, we can. Yeah. So for the first half, Julian uh, and Shad. Uh, our uh, wonderful producers and advisors. Can you uh, set that up for us? Yes, you want the keyword to be? Mithril. Yep. How do you spell it? Let me know when we're good to go. You know how it's spelled. M-Y-T-H-R-O-L-L. -L. <gasps> Just like it sounds. <laughs> As opposed to how it puts itself. Okay, we're good to go. So, to win a tin 20 from Mythical Armory before it even ships in the next number of weeks, um, just put Myth Roll into the chat and you will be entered. Enter only once, you enter more than once, and you are disqualified. So, make sure that you don't do that. And Excuse of course, me, guys. our sponsor, DD Beyond, <laughs> yeah. as usual, and uh, we love them so very much. Um, and we should get some Curse of Strahd um, giveaways actually from them in the Ooh, next little while. So, I'll idea. shoot them a message. And do yeah. That. All right. Our Discord is live, it is official. Our community, do you have a question? No, I was just doing your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> oh my god, we're back again! That's why she's on that side of the table. That's why we use the table. getting a lot of like, time. elbows out of the table otherwise. Oh dear. Um, Alright, so uh, where was I? I don't know. All of this nonsense happens Discord. all the time. It's Our yes. Discord yes. community yes. are now role playing as Vistani. There is hundreds of Folks who have joined our Discord, when you subscribe at Tier 1, Tier 2, or Tier 3, either through Twitch Prime or through regular subscription, you are given the bonus opportunity to roleplay on our Discord as Vistani. Uh, in addition to that, there's lots of cool things that you get at Tiers. A Tier 3 actually gets their own wagon, their own Vardo, uh, and can craft. Cool. We have a whole crafting system where you can craft items in-game and then sell them or trade them or potentially make them for p players. What? There's all kinds of cra oh, crazy, oh, craziness. So, I'm visiting the Discord tonight. Oh, so that, yeah. Well, that's you can't crazy. really. That's Can not, I manipulate? That's not kind of how it works now. Oh, we have like 20 works. gold. I'll explain that. But anyways, <laughs> registration is happening today. It started at 5 o'clock. They've been registering, and they're being put into their camps uh, and their families, and no. then they will be no, present that. throughout our game, that's which great. is awesome and very exciting. Yeah. So yeah. thank you to our community. You guys are amazing. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't do this without you. So Behind the screen, Tomorrow night with myself, I am back, um, and very excited to talk about our season premiere and uh, this episode, as well as Tides of Wildbone or anything else uh, re related to Realm Smith. Um, are we doing Players yes, Table players on table Thursday night with Joel Oje? The players Table will be this Thursday with uh, one of these players who I will pick randomly five minutes before the show and call. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> yes, yes, very structured. It happened to me once. Yes. yes. The FaceTime call of Joel. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Nolzers will be happening for the first time uh, in a while, live this coming Sunday. Uh, and very excited to do that. I haven't decided what I'm painting yet, but Julian will be on my back, so I will absolutely make sure that I decide what I'm going to do then. Wouldn't that make it hard to paint? It is hard to paint when Julian is <laughs> on his back. It's actually right. like, <laughs> oh. it's and he's actually, very judgmental. He is very judgmental. <laughs> <laughs> see how fall for Calendrating. Out. <laughs> his, his, um, his beard is tickly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Want to thank Luke Gygax and all the wonderful people at Founders and Legends for an incredible event this past weekend. If you didn't catch Founders and Legends, uh, you can go onto our Twitch channel, which you're probably at right now. Oh, as well, the giveaway is only on our channel. So if you're watching on D&D, make sure that you come over to the Realm Smith Twitch channel, enter into the chat there, and then you can um, go back to D&D and enjoy it there. Um, but yeah, on our Twitch channel, you can see all of the sessions from that day, and we will be posting them on YouTube soon as well uh, and premiering them there. Uh, last but not least, 
Grigori is back. Oh. This season, you can see up in the, uh, did I do it? <laughs> I did it right this time, it's opposite. Oh, Julian just, oh, oh, he's, oh, he's, oh. he's playing games. <laughs> he's uh, he's flashing it so people know. Anyways, that, um, that meter up there, for those of you who are new to Into the Mist, is the meter to send items to the players in game. Uh, every time we hit a milestone for extra life, uh, you get. Uh, do we have that extra life widget back on our Twitch page? Oh, I did, didn't do that. Mm. Oh, I so, can do that. Uh, someone bring me a laptop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we'll do that. The widget will be on the Twitch, but you could go to extralife.org, extra life dash, extra dash life dot org, I believe. Look up Realmsmith, and you can donate to Extra Life. <laughs> and every time they get somewhere, they'll get something new. We'll talk about it more in the break with Grigori, of course, who will be returning. Uh, the next item is a necklace of fireballs with... $47. What? Forty. Yes, we're $47 away from a necklace of fireballs for the players. Now, you can't right. donate yet because I haven't turned on the widget on they, our Twitch. No, but they can go to the, you the, the go website, to... which, yeah. That's and Roan needs that hot fire, so please. Yes, yeah. Yeah. well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and it's got three three um, fireballs. You mean the necklace? Five yeah. fireballs, you say? Jeez, six wow. fireballs is a lot. 17? <laughs> wow. Did you say nine <laughs> fireballs? <It's> generous. <laughs> <laughs> I like this DM. <laughs> if we hit 2,500, you get a, a scroll of resurrection. Oh, we need yes. that. So, which none of you we can also use. Need a... You can now. Yeah. Oh, oh now oh, you have with, oh, with a DC like 20 or something. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Well, <laughs> you just need a, yeah, you need a uh, It'll be so a awkward when it's like, oh, I just don't want to use it on the French gold, guy. So that's the only <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I mean, isn't value just, you know, like... It's different for everybody. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll trade it away. You guys ready? Yeah. Y'all ready to venture into <laughs> the mist? For pies. You're not. How many pies did you get for the scroll? <laughs> A lot, right? So many. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Because he's here. I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. I didn't deal with this let's last do, Into let, the Mist season. Let's do this. We're All the good right. side of the table. Yes. You guys <laughs> came to Barovia last season, the beginning of last season. Some of you were, all of you were drawn here against your will. Some of you more than others. Some of you were searching for things that you knew could potentially be in the plane of dread or the land of dread known as Barovia. You, when you first came to Barovia, you met with Madame Eva, who read your fortunes, told you of things and ways um, in which you should move, and I'm. This is the DM reminding you of these things to propel the narrative. <laughs> Why are you forward. looking at me? Oh, that wasn't just just because you're cute. No. Oh. Um, but uh, just remember those things. Um, I, I don't remember. I you never looks. Yeah, at that's me. probably no. why you looked at me. No, I really do. I don't remember. <laughs> probably okay. In I don't take notes. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you guys uh, found Irina Kolyanovich and her brother. Bless you. Uh, who Strahd the lord of the land, the undead vampire, um, has a has taken a liking to. Um, she asked you, or her brother asked you, to help to escort her from the village of Barovia, where um, she had been visited by Strahd a number of times, and escorted to the, the town of Velaki, which is a larger town, kind of just south of Lake <coughs> Zarovich in Barovia. You did that, um, and they were very thankful when you were there. Um, Strahd attacked with a horde of zombies. The militia were able to undo the zombies um, and destroy them, decimate them, and <clears throat> Strahd came, made his presence known, did some damage, and then left. Hmm. After he left, he left you an invitation to his castle, which at the Caesar premiere last this past Saturday, two days ago, you folks attended um, as he upped the ante by asking, <laughs> Esmeralda to join him in the way that Strahd does. Um, you made a deal that you would consider talking Irina into coming to visit him. Did we though? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. yeah I don't we... remember consenting to that. Oh wait, I couldn't consent. I was un I was <laughs> <Yeah>. charmed. <laughs> uh, and. Uh, you, but he did say that you didn't have to answer right away. It was actually just a way for us to have dinner with Matt Mercer. No. 
I don't know. Not, I agree. I thought. <laughs> like, if we got to make a place draw to do it, I guess we'll just. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Can this one. Continue under that premise. <laughs> Anyways, so you guys were left uh, to your own devices. You continued back to Velaki in um, under the cover of night in Barovia, which is a dangerous proposition. Um, it was rainy. It was thundering. And you came across a dilapidated windmill. You decided that you were going to investigate after you heard Muskoka, a newcomer to the group, tell you that he saw a child being brought to that windmill. Mm. Uh, and they make really great meat pies. Mm. Um, wait, wait, I'm sorry. You said that in a very strange way. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you now are at this windmill. You have actually forced yourself in, you, Muskoka, and Esmeralda. Well, you kind of convinced them. Not really. You kind of forced yourself, but that's okay. Well, I shot. forced myself in. Um, <laughs> yes, you forced yourself in. You have currently snuck into the second level mm -hmm. of this windmill, and Callie, you are currently standing on one of the outer um, walkway areas within the building. Mm -hmm. um, you started to kind of press the young female um, for information regarding the windmill and what they do, and she didn't like that so much, um, and proceeded and decided that um, she was going to show a bit of force, as you saw purple energy um, crackle in her vision, as she said, my mother will be home soon, and you can ask her. What, what do you guys do? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <clears throat> I... Uh... I am now on the second floor, um, and I will. Wow, that's that's impressive, Jay. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's... like, do you sleep at night or? No, I no, don't. I don't. Think he, I think he doesn't. So, um, this is actually really and so, where am I? I will show you as soon as I'm able to. This is Whoa. separate. Separate levels here. Okay. Okay. So that is yeah. the. Am I on anything over uh, there? Oh, there. There. Yeah, okay. there you go. And then you are in this level. Whoa. <gasps> what a cable stuck, eh? You're in the kitchen level. I thought you were on the the one above. No. This is beautiful. So he's like me. He is in. He is in the one. This is the one above. So this is the this level is the above. Kitchen. That's the kitchen level. This is the level uh, above. Yeah. With the sweep, the sweeping lady. Yes. Okay. I, so I, I thought he was the that, one above that. No. Okay. No, you had come. She had started down the stairs mm -hmm. to meet right. her sister. He right. had climbed in the window from the area there. Can right. I stay obscured behind those stairs and, and yes, start you hiding? you effectively hid yep. um, and you rolled really high on it, so you were you okay. were good. Cool. Um, from here, though, there are stairs that go up to another level that you can see, um, and you currently are face off with this woman who, as Merelda then said, please tell me about your business and tell me about you know, how this came to be. And she says, you can ask my mother. She will be home soon. <clears throat> so I will uh, you know, call up the stairs <laughs> to the other one. Yeah. How, how far up the stairs is she? Um, how, she is, uh, like, basically has just crested the top of the stairs, and she's starting to come down. And she's got a broom? And, and no, well. She currently has a broom in her hand. She was, yeah. she was sweeping up top yeah. and is now walking down the stairs and is basically there. Yeah, so I'll, I'll call up to her and I'm going to say, Oh, hey, uh, can I borrow your Move broom? Like, I, I dropped, dropped the pie here. So can I, can I just borrow your broom for a second so I can clean it? You asked her, okay. Yeah. Okay. Give me a persuasion check on that. Give me the broom, give me the broom. That one. Natural one. You'll get in. Natural yes, he did. one. Yes, he did. Natural one on the broom. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. So does she give me like a hammer instead? Yeah. <laughs> roll, roll a D100. You give us each money. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. That's right. Uh, no, in fact, she uh, picks the broom up like this, like a bat, and she starts to come down the stairs, and she says, if you are not doing business here, you need to go. Oh, dear. oh yeah! I and she the starts pie. to speed down the stairs. I bought the pie. I'm so quite quickly. Yeah, they just closing I, on it's her, just her I sister. Build the pie, so I was going to clean it. Out, go, go! And uh, her other sister turns towards you now. Can I hear this again from upstairs? Yes, from you can. Okay, uh, and she went by down the stairs. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm you gonna are go, now alone in this. I'm going to go up. You're going to go up one more floor? Yeah. Do I see anything of... Sorry, before I do that, do yeah. I see anything of interest on yeah. this floor? Uh, a dirt cake windows, I said, uh, allow very little light into here, so it's quite dark. There are eight-foot-high ceilings in this uh, chamber, most of which is taken up by a large millstone co uh, connected to a wooden gear shaft that rises through the ceiling in the center of the room. Mm -hmm. A stone staircase continues up toward the sound of children whimpering. Okay. Ooh. You're, gonna, you're on my level? Yes. yes. Well, you're just yeah. outside the window, though, still. Yeah. And, and the and window's he, and he, open. He, you, you, you turned for a second, yeah. and he was there. You turned back, and the window was open, he was in. And yes. So it was, like, and really quick. Oh, oh, the window Small that I'm window. at? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then. Yeah. So I'm going to go up a level. Ooh. Do you want to do anything, Kelly? No, I just was going to knock and say, let, like, let me in, yeah, but no, I can't It's get open, in, right? and it's probably too small for you to fit through. Okay. Um, but he's half-like, so. Yeah, okay. Good. Okay, so you go up a level. I'll just... Wait, my turn. It's like making a cake. Go up a wow, a multi-layered cake. Oh, a layer cake? Yeah, I come over to this layer of the cake. I could use a cake. What's going on in there, Jay? Oh. I'm just making some cake. Oh, you're gonna die. <laughs> okay. Oh, I now see what you mean by small windows. Yes. Yeah. So uh, the rest of us are outside right now. Yeah. Um, I'll go back to you guys real quick. I'm just gonna mention Sterling. Sterling, I suppose anything fishy is happening here. I suspect that there may be, yes. I don't know. You said you heard whimpers or a of cry? pain, of pain. pain, and I am certain on this. And uh, I see very little sign that there are children that live here in any way. No toys or anything. I saw a single shoe and I'm just very concerned that whatever conditions these children are in, they are not humane. Well, you can't just assume that. Maybe all their toys are upstairs. If that is true, I would like to see it proven. I don't trust these people, especially not in this world. I think we might find that all your fears are out of place. I hope you are right. Hmm. Either way, I would like to be ready in case we have to do some killing. Hmm. Yeah. Well, if you think that, but I think we'll be just fine. Okay. All right, back to you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow, so she comes down to me, <clears throat> yeah. and they're getting aggressive, wanting us to leave. Yeah. Um, do we still hear the? Can we hear the kids upstairs? No, not we over just, the ruckus. We just know that there's some whimpering upstairs. I'm going to. I don't know. <clears throat> you know that actually. Well, he was he talking. Heard it. Did, he, I think he, he, he was well, talking the reason, about. The though. reason why you guys are making the distraction is, is so because. That. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, right. <sighs> you guys ready? At the center point of the top of the ceiling. Okay. Right about here. Okay. I'm going to cast silence and run to the top of the stairs and take my axes out. Sorry, so you're going to run to the top I of the stairs. I want to cast right now. silence. Okay. Right here. Okay. Run to the top of the Because she's come down. No, no. Well, yeah. She yeah. came down. Yeah, so she's right behind our other sister here. Yeah. And I'm going to run to the top of the stairs and take my axes out so that they can't get up the stairs. Okay. Can you tell me what silence does? For the duration, no sound can be created within or passed through a 20-foot radius sphere centered on the point you chose within range. Mm. Any creature or object inside the sphere is immune to thunder damage. They're deafened. They cannot cast spells that include verbal components. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. All right. And, and what's the radius on that, sorry? It's a 20-foot radius. So it's the whole room. Mm -hmm. So nobody this can cast floor spells. and that floor. It's the second floor as well. 20 foot radius in every direction. So it's 20 okay. feet down from here and yeah. 20 feet up from here. Does it pass through uh, Well, it's open. It's open here, so, I mean, it doesn't say that it's But you said the stopped. next level, too. Yeah, it doesn't say that it's stopped because of stone. It just has a 20 foot radius. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so you... Can I say... Go ahead. Can I say that when he does this, as he passes that old lady, um, I'm going to use my evil eye to uh, charm her, to try to bring her back downstairs. 
Uh, well, she's already down, so she's down. If we can just get the uh, minis uh, on screen there, Julian, please. Or at least keep her downstairs. Um, so yeah, so she's right behind her sister right now. So they're both downstairs, right mm -hmm. out in front of Muskoka right now. Okay. Okay. And uh, the, there is a there is a somatic com component where I will take the flaps of my ears and pull it over my ears. <laughs> and I'll say quiet, and I'll then I'll run. <laughs> <laughs> so I pull the flaps down over my ears as my somatic component. Okay. Right. So you pull your you pull your flaps down and you say what so you guys say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't remember what I said. <laughs> Just quiet, and then I'll like run up the stairs. And now it's like totally, totally silent. Okay, so this, this weird, this almost like dull silence falls over the room. So you can't hear anything at all. Nobody can hear a thing within okay. that sphere. How high am I? Right now you are... That spell. Well, how tall are the rooms? They're eight feet. Okay, so 16 eight foot up ceilings. to the second floor, and I'm on the third floor. But how tall are you? You're, yeah, you're... <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're standing on a box, you can't hear. Yeah. I stand so all of a sudden, <laughs> so, uh, all of a sudden, things go incredibly silent for yep. you. Okay. I will as a as a just okay, because so I need to. Sorry. Let me get back to you. I'll give you the description of this room. Okay. And then we'll and then we'll. Yes. Yes. Okay. So in a rot, um, in a rotting uh, wooden area closet, almost you see uh, two crates with. Uh, stacked on top of each other with small doors set into them, and there are little bars on those doors. Like a mini bar. Next to those crates is a heap of discarded clothing, and a ladder climbs to a wooden trap door above. And so, these ceilings are quite high. This is like a 20 foot ceiling. Wow, okay. The way up. Don't touch your toys. Okay, Whoa. that's creepy. Um, why, 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 <laughs> why? Oh my, why? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So um, I can't hear that. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> uh, a ladder climbs a wooden trap door in nine foot high ceiling. A moldy bed with a tattered canopy stands nearby. And it's like a makeshift moldy kind of straw mattress bed that is kind of falling apart okay. and rotted. I'm going to, um, I'm going to uh, change or disguise self into uh, the child that we saw in the arms of the woman who was leaving the building when we Sorry, were coming. Say that again? You're gonna I'm going to change myself, yes. disguise self, yes. mm -hmm. in the form of the child we saw okay. in the arms of the woman who was leaving the building. Okay. Was it a baby? She, it was a four-year-old. It was a five-year-old or something okay. like Okay. Can you give me a, a stealth check as you came up here? Are you okay. trying to remain stealthy still as you climbed these stairs? Yeah. Or did you just run up these stairs? No, no. I, well, I mean, I, I was trying to stay sneaky. Okay. Yeah. So give me another stealth check because you're, you're switching floors. Being in silence, your feet might not make any. Uh, that's uh, with a stealth plus. With a twenty-foot uh, ladder. Spirals. That's actually a really, from really, the really floor. good. Uh, twenty-two. Okay, with a twenty-two, so you come up here, you take it kind of it all in, and you're able to to shift into um, that form. That this, child specifically. Okay, from one of those boxes. Okay. Those crates with the doors and the bars. You see two hands come out and hold the bars. And you hear <laughs> okay, a, I go, child's, I, a child's voice. I go over to the crate. Okay, as soon as you kind of step, are you making yourself known? And, and so that you can see? I'm gonna go or to the crate, you... I look like the child. Yeah. And I'm going to attempt um, to just speak to the- Okay, so as you kind of walk out of the shadows, yeah. you're presenting yourself. <gasps> You hear a, a the sound of a, of a scared child, and the hands go away, and it's still dark in there. You okay. have dark vision. I do. You do not. I do. I do. Yeah, Gloomstalker. Right. Are there, are there okay. within the effects of the silence. Oh, so you so don't I hear have, anything. I wouldn't have heard anything. But anything. I might have seen That's the hands right. pulled back. You saw the hands. No, no, no. no. He said it was a twenty foot ladder. You, you only have no, no, a twenty no. foot radius. Oh, but 20 no, foot to here. Twenty foot to here. To I'm in here. Yeah, he didn't go up there. Yeah. Yeah. So that is right. just uh, that's no. the, this is twenty feet is basically. Uh, no, you know what? This is above the four feet. This is another four feet or so. Oh, okay. So this is not in the sound. No, but this yeah. is only eight feet. But there's it's, this that's eight feet plus. So I cast it at the center. Plus four feet. I cast it at the center of the ceiling of this room. So it would be twenty feet extending. So up. it's yes. eight so it's feet above this. plus. Okay. Another You'd have to go up to. Another okay. Well, so I didn't hear the child. Did I see the child? You saw the hands. Hands. I move. They move um, back. And then, and then they. Uh, and and when, they when, have when heard they me. see you, they move back. Okay, but they wouldn't have heard me. No, but they s saw you as soon as you came in front of the thing. The hands move back. And. Uh, Quick, so 
silence means nothing can be heard. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know that. And it, well, all of a sudden everything goes quiet. <laughs> you don't hear anything. Yeah. Can you hear stuff from outside of the circle? Or are you also cannot hear? Can you not speak or can you also not hear? No sound can be created within or pass through the sphere. Mm-hmm. Okay, so even sound outside cannot pass inside. Nothing. So it's complete Nothing from utter, inside can go outside, nothing yeah, out complete in. Complete utter silence right now. So I'll go up, I'll go up to the 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 crate. Yeah. And uh, I'll uh, I'll look inside. What do I see? Yeah. And, and so as you approach the crate, um Um, you see a young boy. Okay. Um, probably about seven years old. Okay. Uh, blonde hair, which is weird for Barovia. Blonde hair, mm. piercing blue eyes that you can see from here. Um, and it's your dark vision, so you're only seeing bits of the light coming through the windows. Mm. Um, really dirty face. Looks like he's been, been in here for a while, and he looks a little emaciated and quite... Sorry, not emaciated. He's actually looks healthy from a from a uh, weight perspective. Okay. Um, and you see that there's a little needle, like a, like a pin needle. Okay. Uh, on the crate, on his, on top of his crate, and it, it looks like it has a little blood on the end of it. Huh. Um, and um, he sees you currently, but he's like right at the back of the crate yeah. currently. Okay. We're gonna go back to uh, you guys outside. Sounds would have extended. To us, too, right? Yes, it would have. Absolutely. Okay. So all of a sudden, everything goes silent. I'll turn <laughs> to Sterling. I'm gonna begin to walk forward into the room. Okay. okay, so you you step into the room as well. Esmeralda is kind of here. You step into the room. It is getting really crowded at this point. Huh. In fact, it would be very difficult for anybody else to enter this room. I'm gonna say, as you come in, you notice the, the what, what's it? I'm gonna attempt to you know say what is going on, but yeah. mouth, and then I'm gonna you know cast fireball to like prepare prepare it because I know something's wrong and nothing will appear in my hand. Yeah. Yeah, so he, he does this and looks as if he was uh, expecting something to happen. Immediately after, I'm going to mouth, pardon me. Like, yeah. And I'm going to walk out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay, uh, back to you. Um, so you, you start to move past her. Yep. Um, <laughs> I motion that they can move forward. Please. She just rolled a natural 20. Oh, why? Uh, on what, though? That's the question, right? Yeah. It was, it was she politely moves check. out of the way. <laughs> on politeness. <laughs> History check. You're very offended. <laughs> like, what is, what is this thing? Insight. <laughs> okay, so as you, as you cross her path, she reaches out with a strength that you don't really expect from her. Cool. And she grabs your wrist and snaps it. Oh, you, take, moly. you take 18 points no. of bludgeoning damage <laughs> as her grip holds your ho- holds you still. 18 in my arm? I would like you to make, uh, well, your 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 how many hit points do you have? Like 24? 20, yeah, 25. Yeah, 25, so the broken arm. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Just like, what, she fun. remove it? And like, blood starts to pour. And you, here's um, what you oh do, my. you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'd oh. like you to make a strength check, please. With my broken arm? Yeah. Oh, is it concentration? It is, it is. So I also need to do a... Yeah, you uh, sure do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you sure uh, do. It's gonna be doing? really awkward. You're gonna start hearing screams. <laughs> <laughs> All no, they fall for. <laughs> uh, sorry, um, 17. 17? Yeah, so with a 17, my broken uh, yeah, and you're actually able to pass her grip uh, and, 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 and pull your arm away. Um, but as you do, she begins to turn and shift, and she turns into and transforms into this tall, blue to purple-skinned hag. Her That's hair me. long, oh, black, great. beads in her hair, dressed in really dark clothing, um, and she stands before you now, 
I would like you all to oh. roll uh, yeah. initiative. I'm not First in the room. room. Let's do Everyone, it. Do you want me to make my constitution saving throw as well? For yes, please spell? do. Can, mm. And I don't hear anything. It's, uh, mm. it's a 10, which I need to get a 10 or higher to keep concentrating. Okay. I'll look that up. Mm. Uh, it's 10 or half the damage you take. Yes. Yeah. Whichever's higher. Oh yeah, so it's a ten, but I got a ten. So it's all right. Okay. Ooh. All right. It's a decent, uh, right? We're gonna go around with initiative order at this point. Sterling. Eighteen. Dimitri. Two. Falfer. Seven. Roan. Uh, skip me. <laughs> uh, Callie. Seventeen. Muskoka. Oh, do you want to wait for Ron? Because like, he didn't go yet. He <laughs> just go. Okay, I just, I just want to be polite. So I got an eight. 19. Oh, see? <laughs> <laughs> He's first anyways. And Esmeralda? 16. And we're going to auto roll for them. And okay. We are using the combat tracker from D&D Beyond. Nice. All right, Ron, you are up. Um, you come outside, you cut turn around, you're like, I don't know what to do. There's no sound. You don't know what's going on inside. What do you do? Yeah, I, I, so I'm just going to look to the group and be like, <laughs> motion to them, like, proceed. Uh, and then, um, so I walked out. I continued like. to walk out. Um, oh. How far away am I now? Did I did I get 20 feet out? Yeah. Oh, like, well, however, you would have moved in 10 feet. So yeah. you had 10 feet plus, yeah, so you could have moved 20 feet if you wanted to. Up to where you were. All right, well, I probably would have joined the group and, like, motioned, like... Okay, so you're right behind them. And uh, do I see through the doorway what's happening? Uh, you can absolutely see a shift in, in figure of this person. All right, so while these two are both, like, mouthing towards each yeah. other, I'm going to grab both of their shoulders and, yeah. like, look, you know, <laughs> yeah. okay. face them in that direction. Okay. Sterling, you're up. All right, um, I immediately go into the space. Yeah. Uh, seeing what's going down, I go big Sterling. Okay. Uh, although you won't hear the voice. Oh. It's, it's quiet. Oh. It's very quiet. Oh. Oh. Chad okay. is telling us that spell radius is blocked by walls. Wow. Oh. Oh. But oh. the staircase Whoa. is open. Yay! But if the staircase is open, is it blocked? Does it, like Does it go open? around corners and ceilings? Yeah, I don't think it would go around corners. <laughs> Or, well, Fireball like, does. does the counter block it so then? then we could we could still talk to each other outside. Uh, depends whether it goes out of the door. Then I guess. Yeah, there would be an area of dead space in front of the door. So yeah. we'll say that the conversation you had before, you couldn't hear each other because you're right outside okay. the door. Okay. Um, you can hear the child up yep. top. Otherwise, and it can hear me. Everything so. else still still stands. Thanks, chat. So I um, go in, big Sterling. Uh, as soon as I enter the space. Okay. Uh, uh, now, the, the problem is, is there isn't enough room for Big Sterling. Well, um, the thing is, if there isn't enough room to go big, then I stay the same size, but I still get the benefits from being from Oh, is that what it says? My, yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. So, so I might not increase in size, but I'll, you know, be able to okay. do some yeah. things. Okay. Do, do some things. That's what I always Yeah. Muskoka was trying to go around. Um, where was Muskoka? Well, I yeah, was where, like, where trying to go up the stairs, and then she ripped my arm out. So you're yes, about there. Did. So is that enough room there then for me to be big? Uh, because, sorry. Oh, I'm just well, knocking. It's okay. Just, trying, just trying to knock everyone over. Eh? Put. It's totally not working. Where was Goka? I didn't move up. Well, you did. I just have this move. picture of you going big well, and like everyone stopped, being right? pushed up against okay, the wall. Yeah, you, Esmeralda you right. and Muskoka like just sort of yeah. squished <laughs> against the wall with the hag. Uh, you could have moved. That was an attack of opportunity. You could have moved if you want to. I'll allow it. Oh yeah. Yeah okay. I'll keep going then. How far? How long far? Oh, I was trying to get to the top of the scare. Okay, so like, you make it to the top. Yeah. And you're currently holding your broken arm. Okay. So I go right in front of her. Okay. Uh, you know, I guess I'm you not don't have room for big Sterling. We'll, we'll say right. you get big so, Sterling, but but without the benefit. So I still have the the giant bite uh, working for me. Okay. Uh, still, uh, so that's a bonus action. I'm going to use my action to um, slice and dice. Okay. Uh, count me off a little bit of hag. You have to choose slice or dice. And that for you to that switch, there's no somatic component, uh, vocal compo verbal components. Uh, no, it's just a bonus action. Uh, I magically gain the following benefits for one minute. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so, yeah, uh, that's, unfortunately, it's a, a nine to hit. It's a nine to hit. Nine to hit. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, that is not my knife. Uh, right. So you come across with one attack, yeah. and uh, she she manages to move out of the way. Okay. Um, and you are, she, you are looking up. How tall are you? I'm seven feet. Yeah, you are looking up at her. She's So she's big enough to... So is she like bent down? She's tall. She's medium, ceiling? but she's tall. But yeah, like, so she's okay. she, she's just just slightly taller than you. Oh, okay. Like, so if she tries inches. to swing, she's gonna hit the ceiling. That's why. Okay. <laughs> I got a foot of clearance. That's what are, good. What are, I'm just what? saying. That <laughs> <laughs> she can't like. Oh, she's, oh crap. But she can baseball swing hit you. She could try, yeah. But there's a table in the way. So. And her sister. Come so. on, Brent. <laughs> Come on. This, Come on. Is this, happening? this no. guy. No, it's not. I, I gotta do everything I can. Uh, so, Callie, right. you're up. Yeah. Okay, so I no other windows. They're all small. I can't fit in, right? <laughs> and you have no idea um, there's a fight. Yeah. Yeah, so you hear... You actually hear everything uh, outside, but you don't hear anything from inside. So all of a sudden, everything that you heard, you were hearing from inside, you... Oh, uh, you still hear the whimpering through the window. This yeah. is tough. You still hear the whimpering through the window. Yeah. Uh, any any uh, of the talking that you heard from the ground floor has immediately gone silent. Right. right. You don't necessarily know why. Yeah. Uh, and you don't hear them out front either. Okay. Um, you can try and squeeze through that it's window, fine. but it's no, really it's really fine. tight. So I all get down. Okay. I'll fly down or okay. jump down, whatever yeah. I want. How long do you have your wings for? A minute. It's only a minute. Yeah. Okay, so you're almost done. Okay. So I'd allow you to come down and then they're gone. Sure. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go to where the door is, where Okay, so you is. come around, you can come down like this, and you can see them from where you were. Yeah. So you come down and you join them here. Okay. Uh, and currently, uh, right now, you, you're you talking to them. Yeah. Go ahead, have a conversation and then we'll move on. If you, Who, did you want to say anything? It, it's Roan and Dimitri. Okay, I just like, yeah, you can talk actually. You can talk because you're outside. Yeah, because you're outside of the door. They can't talk though. Anybody who's in front of the door, Dimitri, oh, right now, okay. you guys can talk. Dimitri can't. There's no deafness right. component, right? Okay. It's just silence. Mm-hmm. Sound from the outside can get through. No. Uh, no, it can't, can't, no, can't, can't pass through. All right. Can't yeah. leave it. Can't. Are we going oh, in? Okay. Yeah. Are we going in? You can hear. You can hear. I can hear. Yeah, because you're on the other side of the door. Oh, Dimitri um, can't. <clears throat> Sterling's already went in. Appears as some sort of beast within. The, the woman changed into it. I, I can't cast magic within that building. Something's very wrong. Okay, can I try to get in? Can I do? Can I like? So as you start to come in, yeah. you know you, you're able to. So you've come down. That's 10, 20. You can get basically to that step, and that's yeah. as far as you can. Okay. Uh, Movement wise, you can dash, but then you don't get an action. No, it's fine. I'll okay. wait. Okay. So you're standing out front. Yeah. Okay. All right, it is the hag's turn. So uh, rude. Can you just another name would be nice. This is so hard. Karen. Um, <laughs> That's. She looks. Uh, she 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 looks enraged, uh, obviously understanding what the effect of the spell that that was cast caused, um, and she turns to her sister and kind of gives her a glare and then looks back up at you and starts to come up the stairs at you. But she's so old, like she probably needs one of those chairs that goes Oh my gosh. Can we get an opportunity? <laughs> Every time. All right. Which uh, one's going up the stairs? The hey. This one here. So you opportunity get an, attack? Yeah, you get an opportunity. Oh, yeah. Oh, she throws me off. <laughs> Nat 20? Nat yeah. oh. oh. With mighty mode. Does, does that? Does that hit with Big Sterling? Yes, it does. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll some damage. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll some damage. All right, so we're doing the Dungeon Dudes rules for. Yep. Okay. All right. So in that case, then that is ten plus six plus one d six because I'm big, which is four. So that's twenty points of slash damage. Okay. Wow. Um, wow. Yeah. Good As she turns, you slash across her back, and she silently screams um, as this black kind of brackish blood sprays onto the side. But she still stumbles up the stairs. Yeah. She goes to attack you, Dave, um, and she, um, but she kind of like trips on her way up from the slash, yes. and her it falls short, <gasps> and she doesn't eat, oh. she doesn't manage to, to to hit you. Okay. Uh, her sister, though. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> 
starts to contort and change and shift as well, and she turns into one of these as well. Is that a mouse? Uh, oh. uh, and seeing what you have done, um, looks like she has to think about what she's gonna do, because what she would typically do, she's not able to do um, right now, because everything has a vocal component. Good so she's just gonna job. charge you. All right. With her claws out. She's gonna I charge don't like you for it. Some she's got these massive, kind of black curled claws as she comes over and she attacks. Uh, 20 is enough? Yes. However, as a reaction, I can invoke my uh, cloud rune, which will shift that damage from her to somebody else within a 30 foot space (gasps) that I can choose. Her sister's gonna take that hit. Okay. How many times can you do that? Uh, Once per short rest. All day, every day. So I'll just use that right now um, and make her feel real guilty for hurting her own sister oh, that way. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, psychological damage. Yes, too. psycho damage too. Oh. Yeah. That's great. So okay, so as she comes over to you, she actually slashes at you. Um, and sorry, can you explain to me what happens? Uh, what effect kind of happens with your armor that causes? So the it to shift? I, I invoke the rune, which essentially uh, takes the damage off of me mm-hmm. or you know anybody else within 30 feet of me that I can, yeah. you know, uh, and shifts it to another person that I choose within 30 feet of me. Cool. Uh, so um, I guess the the damage, you know, is absorbed by the rune yeah. and I guess just maybe an yeah. aura appears yeah. around the other sister. Yeah. So as she comes off. over, this rune kind of lights up on, her, on your chest and as it uh, scrapes through, where you typically would be, all of a sudden, the other hag on her stomach rah, screams out in a, in a silent uh, yell as she yeah. takes that damage. Um, and this enrages the hag in front of you. How much damage did that deal? Um, We're about to. I don't know. Eight, how points, much? Uh, eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm silently laughing. <laughs> as Merelda, you're up. Uh, have I noticed that the, I'm not able to like say anything, or am I? Yes, at? you you notice everything. Yep. Okay, so then I'm going to attack the closest one to me with my rapier. Okay. Uh, so you uh, can you guys move forward, please? Yes. Yep. Um, move ho- over to beside Sterling. Uh, okay. Yes. Oh yeah. That's about ten feet. Okay. Laying on the floor. It's like something laying on the floor. Just thought maybe it was my arm or something. But no, it was on, it was on the, t- the table before. It's fine. Oh. Okay, so sh- she's there. You're gonna attack with your rapier. Go ahead. Yeah. So that is an 18 to hit. Okay, Muskoka, you're on deck. Oh yeah. Uh, an 18 hits. And that is 13 points of piercing damage. Okay. And you lunge. Into into and it, it it slashes kind of like through her side and through all this ragged kind of clothing and you pull out uh, and she turns towards you as well, as she looms over you. Uh, I have a bonus action since yep. I can't say anything. I'm just gonna flipper the bird. Yes. Yes. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right in her face. Injury. Yeah. I like it. Falfa, uh, Muskoka, you're up. Falfa, oh you're yeah. Deck. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to use my bonus action of shifting which uh, allows me to assume a more bestial appearance and gives me five temporary HP. Okay. So we'll go ahead and just enter that in. Okay, and then I'm gonna cast Primal Savagery, which has only a somatic component. Nice. So I cast, uh, I, I use my shifting, which lets my teeth grow. Yeah. My teeth grow a little longer. My like hair, like, it gets a little longer, like my thick, like uh, coarse, longer hair. And, uh, Primal Savagery allows my teeth and fingernails to sharpen, and uh, I can make a melee attack against a creature within five feet. Is she within five feet? Yes, she is. And uh, on a hit, she'll take 1d10 acid damage. Oh, hello. Fit my dirty teeth. Good stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna... And if you need a dam built, he's your man. Oh, yeah, I bet you <laughs> dam. Right. Oh, who can see it? Sure. The lumberjack and a beaver. Sorry, what was that? Sorry. It's a 15 to hit. 15 to hit is not enough. Oh, man. Uh, as you kind of come oh. down at her, she she manages to bat your hands away. Um, and you're just having a hard time with that broken, it's gonna try to the bite broken wrist. Um, are you going to move or are you going to stay where you are? 
Well, I'm right in front right now. Yeah. So we'll probably just stay there. Okay, Falfrey, you're up. Dimitri on deck. Okay, oh. so I'm going to go to the the crate where the child hands were. Yeah. So now you, you again, I can hear. They can you, hear. you can hear here. You can hear. You heard the whimpering. Yep. You heard the, them draw back. Uh, you're not hearing anything from below, though. All of a yep. sudden, things went silent. Yep. So I'll go to the, the child in the crate, and I will, uh, I'll attempt to just pull the bars apart. Wow. Okay. Yep. Give me a strength check, please. Okay. Strength athletics check. Um, that is a two. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 Nothing. Yeah. Too bad I'm not there to laugh at him. <laughs> <laughs> you That's got why I did nothing. It. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Um. Okay. Uh, Dimitri, you're up. Okay. And then Roan, you're on deck. Back to the top of the order. Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so Roan's just pointed me in the direction. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go in and can I get over this table? You sure can. It's gonna take half your movement to get over like difficult terrain. Okay. So uh, so that's like five, 10, 15, 20, 30. That's as far as you can go. Oh, so I can't even get, well, can I go this way across to get? Even, even still, you wouldn't get close enough to get to, to get there. Could, could he attack from the top of the table, standing on the table? Uh, you could cross the distance, yeah. Yeah, you can stand on, like yeah, on the edge, yeah. Yeah, uh, dance fight. Don't step on the moon pies. Which over? The dream right. pies. I'll uh, swipe with my long sword. Yeah. Do, do, do. From a squatting position. Natural 20! Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Funny key. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Damage? Um. Okay. Oh, I see what it did. It gave me a second dice. It'll be two plus eight plus seven. Seventeen slashing damage. Ouch! <gasps> with nice. the longsword against. Okay. That hag. Okay. Seventeen. Seventeen. Yep. Wow. Okay. Good stuff. Again, silent scream as you come down with your longsword. You cleave into her shoulder, and this black, brackish blood again starts to pour down her arm. And as I do, I say, <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Rowan, you're up. Sterling, you're on deck. Um, so, from where I am, can I see inside? Am I out of the. Yeah, or... you can see. You can see inside from your trajectory. But you're outside of this sound thing. Do I have a clear shot on that hag? Probably no. Not. <laughs> you can you can absolutely try. Is the answer. Uh, so I get a view, little view, maybe a little yes, bit. Yeah, but you have an Esmeralda and a Dimitri in, in the way. Just fireball the whole room. <laughs> he, he would. <laughs> no. He would. Yeah. Uh, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna cast magic missiles uh, okay. on it so it auto hits. Okay. So it will do uh, on that hag right there that I can see. The one I hit. Yeah, it will do uh, five, seven, nine points of force damage. Okay. And uh, I'll end my turn there. Okay. All of a sudden, I have a sound effect for that. Sirenscape. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Sir, sir, sir. Oh, they fly into the room. Stuff. These multicolored darts and slam into the back or in, into the chest of the of the character in front of Sterling. Sterling, you're up. All right. Okay. Uh, for my bonus action, I'm gonna Cali invoke the uh, Uvar rune, which will uh, enter me into a prophetic state uh, hmm. for a whole minute, um, and I'm going to give myself advantage on this attack using Uvar. Okay. Nice. So. Uh, oh. Uh, good thing I have advantage. Oh yeah, oh, yes, yes, uh, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> oh boy. I mean, there's only one point of difference. Uh, I guess a nine doesn't hit. No, it does not. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. But it was very impressive. Yeah. Very, very impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Very impressive. I, I mean, it must have been intimidating at the very mm. least. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, you come across with your sword, and she just moves out of the way. Yeah. Um, well. <laughs> uh, as she's still smoking from the magic missiles that hit. Callie, you're up. Okay, can I go in? Can I go? To, there's nobody on that side, right? Yeah, you can go in here. Yep. 
And then... <laughs> so that's that's like 5, 10, 15 points of movement. Sure. Um, can I uh, do a sneak attack with my short bow? You can't. Oh, can I? you can do sneak attack. Yeah, you absolutely can from this distance. Yeah, you can hit either one. You can hit the one. So you, as you enter the room, you see that there is this large, dark-skinned hag climbing up towards... Uh, Muskoka with hate in her eyes. You see a smoking uh, hag there who is surrounded by, or is, yeah, surrounded by Dimitri and Esmeralda and Sterling. Uh, so you decide who you want to f to fire this arrow at. Um, I feel like the one on the stairs is probably yeah, the yeah. So you pull your bow back, threat, and you get sneak attack on that as well. And then I do this one. Yeah. I roll this one. Yep. He's funny, yeah. Four. I hate that. That is not enough. <laughs> the arrow goes above, Man, smashes I've off so the side. I so long for my turn, and then this happens. It's such a I hate this game. Probably yeah. not a great thing to say. I love this game so much. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fun. Um, the hag that is right in front of you. Yeah. Uh, not you. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, you uh, make it worse for me? <laughs> oh, it's really good. 14. Yeah. Uh, not enough. She not swipes enough. out at you and um, <sighs> well, doesn't get you. Oh, uh, oh yeah, I know. Wow. Oh, not you, not you, the, uh, David. Yeah. Uh, Muskoka. Yeah. Um, yeah. The so other yeah, hag yeah, yeah, yeah. turns towards. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the other hag tur turns towards Sterling. Um, and it's not enough either. Um, whiffs. So as a reaction for Shield. sentinel feet, I'm yeah. gonna attack that one. Okay. With my longsword. Got it. Oh, that's right. I have sentinel feet too. Yeah. Twenty-five to hit. That's a hit. Wow. And eleven slashing damage. Okay. Uh, she takes it. <laughs> nice. She's not look, looking so hot, too. Like, all of a sudden, this blood, it's pouring down her face. As you come through, you slash her on the, on, across the arm again, um, and just spraying <laughs> brackish blood across Sterling and Esmeralda. Uh, Roan, <laughs> yep. um, you're standing outside, and you're trying to kind of find um, an area in which you can kind of plan your next attack. Uh, you take 10 points of force damage, oh. as in your back, you get hit by three magic missiles. Mommy's home. Um, <laughs> mommy's home. Um, and you turn around, and that old woman with the cart is standing um, did in you, front with did her you, hands outstretched. So you rolled an attack against me? There? It's auto hit. Okay. Magic missiles. Oh, right, it is, obviously. Yeah. The... All right, so an old woman. Yeah, and she she has her hand stretched out towards you and psh, 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 have hit you in the back. Okay, uh, Esmeralda, you're up. Miss you're on deck. Okay, well, Jason, this time I'll remember that I have multi attack. Oh yeah, that helps. <laughs> right, yeah. And you said nine points. Andy, Andy. So uh, the same. Uh, ha is, is there the same hag that's in front of me? Yes. That I've been attacking. Yeah. Um, I will first attack her with my rapier. Okay. That is a 19 to hit. Uh, that is a hit. And, ooh, and that is uh, 13 points of piercing damage for the first attack. And okay. then I'll attack her again with my rapier. That is a 24 to hit. Wow. And that is uh, 11 points of piercing damage. Wow. Okay. Woo. And the final attack. Is that 24 I'll points? Make... What's that? That's 24 so all, so far. All together so far. Uh, 13 and 11. Been... Yes. Yes. 13 and, yes. 11. Uh, and then the final will be with my short sword. That is. Oh. Is eight. Sorry, we 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 missed you there. You broke up. Sorry, that was 26 to hit with the short sword. Okay. Wow. And that is nine points. Of piercing damage. So 34? 33. 33? Okay. Uh, wow. Right I had a on. reaction that I totally forgot to make. Mm. All right. And all of a sudden, Esmeralda comes to life and she starts to <laughs> poke 
massive holes <laughs> into this hag as this hag starts to kind of grab onto onto her kind of blooding, <laughs> bloody body. Um, as you have done very well, folks, for yourselves here, thanks to a silence spell. Yeah. Um, Way to go, eh? Leave it to the hey. noisy guy. Yeah, eh? <laughs> All right, now. What, what luck, right? <laughs> yeah, eh? <laughs> Beauty. Well, I'm not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Muskoka, you're up. Uh, foul for your own deck. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to uh, I'll attack with Primal Savagery again. And I'll just go ahead and do that. Mm-hmm. My sharp teeth. Ooh, yeah. it's a nine. That's not enough. Oh. Again. <laughs> Um, you guys are currently in a standstill, and you're swiping at each other and just not able to <laughs> just make slap purchase. fighting. Uh, like file for your up, and Dimitri okay. on deck. So I have a crowbar from my adventures pack, and okay. I'm going to attempt to to pry one of the bars okay. apart. Strength mm-hmm. athletic check with advantage, okay. please. Thank you very much. It's probably like a latch. <laughs> it's, it's wood. Or like a key, like wood. a key, a key on, the, the, on the a banister oh, there. Okay. That's plus three, plus two. So oh, <laughs> you, but you said with advantage. Yeah. So that's. Oh, Come on now, there we go. Oh, where we go? Just keep prying it apart. Uh, it's still metal. Is plus three, that's 20. A dirty 20. A dirty, 20. dirty 20. Dirty 20. Okay, so yeah. So you're able to. You actually. The bars are too small for him to get through, but you actually right. crack the door open. Psh, the nice. crate opens up, and the kid is still at the back of the, of the crate, quite. Yeah. Afraid, not sure what okay. to do. You do notice uh, he does smell like he probably hasn't had a washroom break in okay. a proper washroom in a while. Okay. Um, but there is pl- plates of food that are kind of like piled up inside his crate, like four or five of them, uh, and and crumbs and and bits of food that he has been fed. You imagine. Okay. For the last uh, however long. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was your action. No, Is there right. anything? Do you want to move or anything? Um, no, I'll just, uh, I'll just, uh, uh, yeah, I'll climb up into the crate and just kind of sit there with him. <laughs> <laughs> you climb into the crate. Well, yeah, the crate I'm his, is. I'm his size. Yeah, yeah, I know, but, but the, the crate's probably just big enough for him. Like he was at the back of it, but you, oh, okay. you can actually fit sorry. in the crate also. The way you described it, sounded yeah, sorry, like no, sorry, sorry, sorry. You also uh, look like a five-year-old uh, that, that just uh, ripped open yeah, a, 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 a cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let me in. I want to be. So I can't get up in there with him. No. Okay. He can hear you though. Um, you guys so, can talk. So I'll I'll just say, uh, I'm here to help. Okay. He's got no idea what you said. Okay. <laughs> give, me, give me a persuasion check. That's funny. <laughs> Why doesn't he know what you're saying? No, I'm kidding. Oh, because the yeah, no. Because Muskoka doesn't know what you're saying. Um, <laughs> that's a would be a. <laughs> that's a natural one. Oh, oh no. But no. I'll use a lucky point. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh yeah. give it a two, baby. And Top legs are no fun because of that. Um, and that is a 17. Okay. Uh, with a 17, you can see with your current image, um, he clearly softens. Okay. Um, the crate behind under, you hear against it, and you look down, and you see that there are hands on the other crate on the bars now, too. Okay, can I use my movement to just and go you down? Hear, you, you hear a girl's voice say, me too, okay. me too. Yeah, I'll just use my uh, my movement to go down to that crate. Okay. So, yeah. Well, you're standing in front. Yeah. Yeah. So you've kind of climbed up to one. Yeah. You break it open and you climb down. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'll allow it. Dimitri, you're up. Okay. I'm swiping again. Rowan, you're on deck. Okay. With my sword, is uh, 15 to hit? Uh, no, that is not enough. Um, as you swipe, and you do not make purchase, I am going How to. How long is this say... silence spell? Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, it's like two or three days. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. No, <laughs> it's uh, ten minutes. Okay, oh, you're that's good. Long. What's the range on magic missile? It's uh, far. Right? It's, it's far. Yeah, 120 feet. I would put her, yeah, up there. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, Rowan, you're up. Sterling, you're on deck. What, what's the? Oh, sorry. What's the um, length of the sound spell? 20, 20, 20 minutes? Oh gosh. Okay. I don't know. It's about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So I'll take the hits in the back and I just wince and sort of, <sighs> what now? And I turn around and I see her and I'm immediately going to use sorcery points uh, to quicken my spell. Uh, and I'm going to shoot a scorching rays at her and then okay. uh, I'm also going to use a firebolt can- or eldritch blast uh, oh, cantrip. Jeez. Uh, so first things first uh, for the scorching rays, uh, does a. Uh, 19 hit. It does. So, 
So for the first ray, she'll take seven points of fire damage. Next okay. ray is higher than the last roll, so I'll just roll damage. Uh, she takes nine points of fire damage the next ray. Okay. And for the final ray, uh, it misses. Okay. <laughs> uh, but for the uh, Eldritch uh, Blast... Are, are you? Uh, I guess you turned a, around. Uh, after the three fire rays go out of my hand, a uh, you know shadowy force uh, appears in my palm, and I shoot it at her, yeah. and I roll, and that's a nat twenty. Oh. Yeah. 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 So I will take max on the first, and then uh, so that's seventeen points of force damage. So you know after she hits me, Jeez. I immediately just start blasting, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. yeah. Just, Sorry, what was that last amount of damage? Seventeen okay, force okay. damage. Um. And anyways, it, the the first the three scorching rays one goes over her shoulder. Elders blast hits her, it rocks her, and she kind of step, stumbles back onto her cart and like holds herself still under her cart as she glares at you and takes it okay. as it starts to burn and 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 smoke. Um, I'm pointing and silently laughing. <laughs> uh, okay, Sterling, you're up. Cal, you're on deck. All right. Um... I'm going to give Esmeralda uh, advantage on her next attack. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to just swing uh, for the fences with this one. See okay. if I can get a home run, knocking her head off her shoulders. Uh, oh, I... And that is a dirty 20 to hit. Nice, that's a hit. Okay, damage is... That's nine plus six, that's 15 points. Of slashing damage. Okay. Wow. She takes it. She's still alive? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, you guys do notice that your weapons aren't necessarily doing the damage that they you think that they would. Um, any of you have huh. silver weapons? No, right? I have uh, a silver, silver short weapon. sword. You weren't using it though, right? Using Sounds it. like a hint. Oh, <laughs> Esmeralda does. <laughs> you knew it? Have you been using it? I have, I've been using it for, uh, my short sword is silvered. Okay, so yeah, I, I gave, yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, I actually haven't been <laughs> tracking it on my end, so you guys have bonus damage on it so far, but that's fine. Um, okay. Wait. Can you say you got silver fillings? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Muskoka's got a grill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Muskoka grill. Ooh. And his wagon has, like, He's pneumatic good. tires. <laughs> too, too much. Too much. Too Come much. on, Joel. We're trying to have a serious game here. <laughs> That's what you're doing, right? Callie, you're up. Good. Uh, is my that magic dagger? Is it is it silvered? It's magical. What does that mean? It does usually more damage and usually hurts things that aren't hurt by non-magical weapons. Mm -hmm. Is it a plus one dagger? Yeah. Yes. It's, it's, the, it's the one we got from yeah. the afterlife. Dagger. Yeah. No extra life. Extra life. But, I mean, <laughs> since, that's that's not, well, it depends. Does that make yeah, the damage? Once it's gone, that's it's what gone, we've named right? It. No. Once I use it, it's gone. No, 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 no. Does it make the damage magical? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, of course, yeah. And can I? I have a 20, 20 foot range. Yeah. Can I, I can throw it. You can throw your dagger. Absolutely. Okay. So yeah. I'm gonna try that. Okay. Do it. D twenty. I, I'm doing this thing. Oh, you're using the D and D Beyond roller. Yeah, I just, nice. You need like and, a bandolier of force, daggers. Fourteen. Fourteen. That is not enough. Yeah. Um, as it as it hits and it kind of uh, cuts through her clothing. Yeah. But then, kind of scatters onto the ground and it glows blue. So then, do I need to find it again and, and get yes. it? Yes. Yeah, it doesn't you'd have to like. Go, no, no, no. It, it, okay. Now it's represent. And where who'd you throw that at? The Dang, one on the it's stairs. It's not like a. It's not like a dang a barang a ring. No, no, no. That's like not a, one? It's not a bolter ring. Boomerang. Uh, you, bang yeah. ring. Uh, bang ring. So it hit the wall here. Oh. Did you attack this one here? Yeah. It hit the wall, and then now it is sitting on the second step of okay. the stairs. All right. Okay. Yeah. Back to the hags. This one here, in front of you, Muskoka, is going to. She's standing up at this point, but she can't stand on that stair. So, um, is going to attack you again, as it really it wants to. Verbally. Not. <laughs> Can somebody else pick up my dagger That's for me? Enough. Yeah, the enemy's that good. Too... That yeah, wasn't where I was going. Nobody can hear you right now, so okay. it's going to be hard to, to communicate that. Would okay. be hard to hit the ground. Right. Yeah. Okay. 
But somebody could and if they saw it glowing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, lots of misses. 17 points of slashing damage. No! Oh, As she looks boy. at you straight in the face and like I'm across your face. My face is on the floor beside the dagger now. You're down. Uh, yeah. Seven. Silence is down. I, I should have saved that rune. <laughs> As he falls onto the ground in a bloody heap, silence goes down. You can now hear everything in the room. Oh, uh, crap. And her, and the sister who uh, is facing you all smiles this big toothy grin. Oh. Yeah, um, bloody grin. I don't like that. Of blood. <laughs> uh, what are we gonna do here? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, cut her head off, though. Yeah. Not much talking happening then. I'm gonna shove something in her pie like hole. The, oh the French translation for Muskoka is heavenly retreat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, um, oh, what's actually. your? Armor class as Morelda. You're just so pleased he's down right now. <laughs> Sorry? 17. Okay. Uh, well, that is not enough. You're lucky. Oh, we got our opportunity attacks from Sentinel, though. Yeah. Uh, as she points a finger towards you, there is this ray that shoots out towards you um, and misses just slightly um, as you kind of duck out of the way of it. Okay. Oh. Opportunity you attack. Me. Yeah, me too. Because the Sentinel. Yeah, we're both okay. Sentinels now. <laughs> oh. Yes. Sentinel Brothers. Sentinel Brothers. Uh, Give me a theme song. Twenty-four to hit. <laughs> That's a hit. Okay. Mine's a miss. I guess I should get mine. Out. So fourteen slashing. With that. Okay. That's a good. She takes it. Slash. Okay. She's still alive. She's still alive. Wow. Damage. Go ahead. You... Uh, I was a miss. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and you, you would find it, okay? Um, the other one sends, closes the distance. Uh, she's going to move 30 feet. If you can okay. move her about 30 feet, please. Where's 30 feet? Um, yeah, um, uh, maybe a little 10, less. 10, 50, 20, 20, 30? Oh, okay. Yeah, right so she's Great still measure. like 50 or the 60 feet away. The bottoms are about five feet. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. And she is going to fire three more magic missiles she's at you, Rona. Uh, I'm going to shield that. Uh, I'm going to shield it, and that will uh, prevent the damage from going through. I believe shield prevents magic missiles. Okay. As she throws these darts at you, all of a sudden, you have a shimmer of, of your shield go in front of you, and they uh, impact and go off just shy of where you stand. Mm-hmm. Um, Esmeralda, you're up. Skoki, you're on deck. Okay. Okay. I'll yeah, do literally. my multi attack again. No surprise this time. So <laughs> the first rapier will be uh, 23 to hit. Remember, you, you have advantage on one of those spells. That's a hit. Uh, still made it, but I'll, I'll, do, I'll use it for when I... Uh, nine points for the first one. Okay. Second attack will be uh, a dirty 20. Nice. For uh, another nine points. How do you want to finish off this night hack? <gasps> oh, oh, yes, Morelda. Okay. Yes, Morelda. Yes, Morelda. So she has yes, Morelda. crystal glowy eyes that I'm just going to stab right and like Ooh. just twist. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> She lets out the sound as, as your your sword uh, goes through the back of her head, oh my God. Um, and she kind of goes limp on your rapier as you pull it out, and she falls to the ground. In your you face! You still owe me more pies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get your money back at least. I will get my money back. Thank you. Muskoka, you're up. Fall for your neck. Okay, so I'm just gonna roll my uh, boulder here. I just bring it death over here. Saves one. Oh, here, no, you Let's see if one. I can. This is your death save. Oh, that's. Uh, oh, that's okay. Let's we'll see if I can land it in the shot. Ready? Oh, gosh. How am I going to do this? Oh. Oh, oh that's, that's a success. success. Hey, wow. Yeah, successfully in the shot, too. Well, that's yeah. a success. <laughs> success. Foul for your rep. All right. Okay. Um, I will again. Demetri on deck. Crowbar, bottom door of the thing. <laughs> Try to wedge it open again. Okay. Athletics check with advantage. Usually it's just tools proficiency, but. Yep. Yeah. 
Uh, that is a uh, 17. Yeah. With a 17, psh, you crack it open. Nice. Um, and inside this box is a little girl. Um, dark, long, scraggly hair, same situation. Lots of plates, remnants of food, the yeah. smell of, of uh, waste. Um, as they've been kind of living in these boxes for some time, you imagine. Do I see any other boxes in the room? No, there's only two boxes. Okay. There's two boxes, there's a pile of clothing, and then the mattress. Okay, I'll ask her, is there anyone else here? <laughs> Persuasion check. Okay. So it's just about five. That is a, ooh, that's a natural one, but I don't count the natural ones. <laughs> um, so that is a... Uh, that's a 19. Yeah, okay. Is it natural ones with an, any ability check? No. Or is it just a... Oh yeah, any natural, any one. How any many times one. can you use it? Well, if it's a lucky point, I can use it three times, but that wasn't a lucky point. This is my halfling lucky, uh... luckiness, lucky trait. So All right. I can use it anytime I roll in that one. Okay. Um, okay, with a 19, she says, I, I don't think so. I think we're the last ones. Let us uh, let us hide. Okay. So uh, we'll skitter to a corner that's. Uh, she looks about five years old. Okay. <laughs> but uh, so do you. <laughs> I do as well. In this particular case, on purpose. But okay. So where, where do you take where, where do you take them? Okay. So I'm going. Well, let's go. Let's go back over here so that we can. Oh yeah, we are over there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm going to uh, try to find the the. You know what? We're gonna hide under the hay. Together. Hiding under the hay. Yeah, we're gonna hide under the hay together. Okay. Well, it's not it's not hay. It's like a bed. It's like a it's like a uh, I had mentioned before. It's like a hay mattress, a mattress full of hay. Uh, and okay. there is a bed. Uh, there, it's kind of on a makeshift okay. sort of bed that you can maybe hide under. Okay, I'll ask them. Can you climb? Yes, climb? Yeah, yes, yes, okay. we can. We'll go up the steps. We'll go up. I'll have to give you two voices. So you're gonna go up the ladder. Up the ladder. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can take your full movement and you can make it up to the next. Show us the next level. <laughs> Reveal it to me. It's certain death. That's what I'm guessing. Another level. Huh. Just wants okay. to be like okay. a bell just so, up there. there. Uh, yeah, where's uh, this thing here? So it's a very Demo. small chamber that you come into, okay. uh, and you see the dome of the of the end of the. Um, Okay, of the top of, of the top of that, yeah. The windmill. Uh, in the ceiling, and there's no visible way to get up there, but there's a ceiling, there's a hatch at the top of the dome that you okay. could potentially get out. Okay. Uh, but there, but right now you're basically in the top. Uh, there is some like, just bits and pieces of broken crates and it just looks like junk okay. in here um, and discarded items. But for the most part, that's all you see. There's not a lot of room to move around. Okay. Uh, and light slips in through tiny holes, but there's no windows in this hmm. in this room. Okay. Um, give me a perception check. Uh, yes, that's a natural twenty. Whoa! You see, within a little tiny crack of one of the crates, you see the shimmer of blue velvet. Ooh. We're gonna go back to it's the best kind of velvet. Uh, Dimitri, you're up. Blue velvet. Then Rowan, you're on deck. That's gonna be yep. a nice hat. Gonna hop down <laughs> and go up the stairs a little. Yeah. Because I'm gonna attack this hag. Yeah. With my long sword. <clears throat> and um, clink. It's a 15 to hit. Uh, that is not a hit. Oh. Um, as you come down, she kind of rolls. Uh, she's standing over him right now. As you kind of come across, she ducks, ping, and you hit the wall. Oh. Um, as you're trying to, and what are you attacking with? My longsword. Okay. Um, Rowan, you're up. Sterling, you're on deck. Uh, I'm gonna quicken my spell again, and same combo. I'm gonna, you know, give her sort of an evil grin, and I'm gonna start throwing uh, Scorching Rays at her with the other hand, and then with the final combo, I'm gonna throw the Eldritch Blast. Okay. So I'll start with Scorching Rays. First ray is a uh, 13. <laughs> um, uh, 13 is not a hit. <laughs> Which misses. This misses. Final ray is an 18. That's a hit. All right. And that will do nine points of fire damage. 
and then I'll Eldritch Blast her. Uh, and that will be a 23. Okay. So I'll roll. Nine was the first amount? Uh, yeah, and that's a one force damage, so a grand total of 10. Okay. Uh, obviously, I didn't get quite the you know, intended effect for yeah. the, for the <laughs> so evil grin. Sh- 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 but again, now she's expecting it coming, yeah. right? She didn't quite expect it at first, mm. and she underestimated you. Now she kind of ducks the first two, she gets hit by the second one, and then the next one just nicks her, and she smiles Ooh. at you. Okay, Dimble and with that, I'm going to say, well then, excuse me. And I'm gonna <laughs> walk inside the building. Okay, behind Callie. Gentlemen there. and ladies, we have company. <laughs> okay, and so I'm put wanna, yourself behind Callie there. Yeah, I wanna get doorway. sort of, out of her shot range. Okay. okay. Um, all right. Uh, Sterling, you're up. Cal, you're on deck. Just burning right. up slots. Uh, I'm gonna go to the side of the steps there. Yep. She's lying down on the stairs, right? Uh, I'm gonna grapple her. Oh, interesting. Uh, okay. You're gonna yeah. climb so up I'm, and grapple I'm sta- her. I'm standing. Uh, well, if if I can climb up the stairs, I will. Otherwise, I'll do it from the side of the stairs because there's no rail. You'll have to. Yeah. Okay. Her. So you're gonna try and come kind of over here, step over her sister, and try and hold her. Yeah. So I'm looking okay. to reach over and yeah. kind of get her face jammed right in my elbow. Okay. So I can kind of like keep her from speaking and hold her so she, she can't move. Okay. Just, mm. just have her fully grappled. Um, and I can do that with advantage because I got big Sterling going on. Mm. Yeah, you can do the voice now. Mm-hmm. I can do the voice now. So that is uh, 16 on the grapple. Uh, 16. Sorry, that's that's athletics, right? So in that case, it's actually 18. Mm-hmm. How can you stand against his strength? You cannot. <laughs> That was weird. It says Rona out loud. To which no. we're like, what was no. That? She got a 19. As, as you reach around with, with your big arm, she yeah. muscles what? out of them and breaks her, breaks her grasp. All right. Uh, with my reaction, I'm going to yeah. give advantage to Dimitri. Okay. On his next oh. attack. Oh. Callie, you're up. Okay. Uh, okay. So mm-hmm. I obviously have no idea what's going on upstairs, 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 right? Yeah. For fault for us. No. Um, okay, then I need to just, I need to try to shoot the lady that's on the stairs. Mm. She's okay. the last yep. one? Yep. Okay. Um, I'll just, uh, use my short bow. Um, and right. it is a, it is a 23. Ooh! Okay. Uh, with a 23 hits. And it is seven points of piercing damage. Nice. I think that does it. Seven Stabbed points in the eye <laughs> of piercing damage. With, with sneak attack? That'll do. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sneak yeah. Did you everybody attack. hear me say sneak attack? Yes. 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 Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know how to. D6. Two d sixes now. How do I? Isn't it? Sorry. Two? How much was that first? Seven. 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 Yeah. So you can attack. roll like some bonus ones here. I don't know if there's another way. Oh. My, my fingers are too fat. Oh my gosh, sweet. would you stop touching things? Your model See, fingers. Who's this one here? What's well, 2d6? D- oh yeah, d6. so yeah. get your d6 by there. I, okay, forget it. Oh my god! It. Just use this one. There, I'll just touch that. Oh, you yeah. did it. So how much? <laughs> so 14 all told. Okay. Seven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, uh, and again, uh, they hit, <laughs> yes. uh, but they don't do as much damage as you imagine your arrows would in that and those aren't scenario. Those are one arrow. No, that I didn't. Was. It was the dagger. I was um, just hoping she was on her last leg. I have those. I'm on my last arm. <laughs> you are. Okay. Yep. Um, Thanks for the reminder. You got the plus one dagger. Yep. It's on the floor. Right. Oh! Yep. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Who's that right there? Me. Can I yell to him? Can you pick up my dagger? Is he right there? He's by my dagger, right? Because he's it yeah. was dropped by the yeah, stairs. Yeah, yep. yep. Dimitri, can you grab my dagger? You see a glowing dagger at your feet. As soon as I can. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Sooner the better. <laughs> Is he? Are you like dying? Are you falling up the stairs there? I'm just in the middle of fighting. <laughs> oh, that's nothing. <laughs> can you just uh... <laughs> stop what you're doing? Yeah, just. Pick 
Uh, how far is the other one? You could use your axe. And hang. <laughs> exactly. Let's move, for, um, exactly. Let's move for another 60 feet, please. Which direction? Uh, towards the, okay. the window. <laughs> She's retreating. <laughs> That's 30. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Okay. Uh, um, I did mention to everyone that we have company outside. Yeah, but, you know, yeah, first things first. <laughs> I'm the realist? No, I, first things first. I'm the realist. It's a song. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's true, somebody's coming, but we can kill the one that's here first, potentially. Mm. Mm. Sounds like Brand is the realist here. <laughs> I'm the strategist. Yes. yes. Um, I'm the dead. The hag on the stairs tur- uh, kind of sits up like this, turns towards all of you, and says, Mother is coming. And she takes out a forked metal rod, and she does a somatic movement oh, and a vocal incantation, and <laughs> it's gone. She's gone? <gasps> the hag is gone. What the hag? Oh, hell. I have to Hold get that. me one of those. Um, and there's no opportunity attack on the teleport nope. sort of thing, right? No, there is not. Yeah. Uh, look around. If it's a misty step, um, it be 30 feet. Could be. But she'd have to sneak past us. As Morel, do you wrap? Muskoka, you're on deck. Uh, who's around? Just, <laughs> the, there's a woman outside the door walking towards the building. Yeah, as you, uh, you can't even kind of, you can't see it right now. Rome came in saying there's company, but as you can see right now, there's no uh, targets. But like, when I when he said that, did I notice that he said it? That like, maybe I would poke my head out the door? Perception check. <laughs> All right. Well, yes, if you want to poke your head out the door, he said it, sure. Okay, cool. Uh, and how far away is she? 15 feet. 30 feet? Mm-hmm. Well, 20 feet outside the door. Right. That's what it looks uh, like. So 30 feet track, yeah. Yes. Can I hit her with, I don't know, uh, I think I'll hit her with a magic missile? Sure. Or is that too, she too close? You, she's at the no, door. No, she can, so she, she can, can yeah. So as Merle turns around, it kind of holds her hand out the window and lets go of magic missile. Oh, 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 do it. Okay. So this is, uh, Six points of fire damage. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, and I think I have another one. Magic miss. Wait, so you get three, three darts. Ones. I have three of them. Okay. So that was the first one. The second one is six points. First one was how much? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I rolled, I rolled a different die. Um. Magic okay. missiles are D4s, I believe. Yeah, yeah. I know. I did that by accident. So let me re-roll the, the first one. Yep. So the first one is five points. Yep. The second one is three points. Yep. And the third one is uh, five points. Five points. Good rolls. How much is all that together? Five, 13, 13. Yeah. Okay, she takes it. As she's hit with more of these magic missiles. Um, (laughs) Muskoka. Yep. You are up. Did did your silence spell have any sort of saving throw for people? Or is it just called silence? Just silence. Okay. Okay. Too late now, but I just wanted to know. Super for annoying, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that's not one of the ones. That's a two. Ones. Yeah. 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 And you yeah. Even failed to get. No one could see it. <laughs> Luckily, yeah. it wasn't a one, or that would be very bad. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, so you have one death save, one success. Yeah. Mark that on your D and D Beyond, please. Oh, yeah. oh, Felfer, yeah. you're up. Dimitri, you're on deck. Yeah, I got that. Okay, so um, can't go up. I'll tell the kids. Um, we must stay safe. Uh. I will... You, like, nod. Um, you know what? Can, are, are you afraid of windows? I'm, what did it say? I'm afraid of the women that live here. Okay. No problem. Let's do this. <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, climb back down the ladder okay. with them. Okay. Um, and down into the... You're in this spot now? No, yeah. you're, you're uh, in this one. I'm in this one now. Yeah. yeah. And then, if you'll allow it, down to the, the level there. Well, it depends. 20 feet. Um, and then you can start down these stairs. Okay. I'm not going to start down those stairs. You'll be at the I'm going to go to the window that I came in through. Okay, yeah, but what I'm saying is the furthest you can get is down to here. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, cool. New uh, Falfer Mini from Hero 4. Oh, oh, nice. Look at the goatee. Yeah. You can't. No, there. No. Anyways, we can see it better. Yeah. Better. Like your doolies. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Uh, yeah. and, the, and we'll say that the kids are right behind you. Merci yep. beaucoup. The kids. The top of those Merci stairs. beaucoup. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So we'll okay. I'll stop my turn there. Yeah, uh, Dimitri, you're up. 
Okay, I'll notice that. Ronger on deck. Esmeralda's been shooting out the door. A couple of what Ron said. I'll see how far I can get going around people. Step on the One, body, step on the pie. Two, you can get <laughs> through people. Three. Yeah. Four. Ooh, wow. Wow. I, I can't see how far. Uh, it's yeah. three. Can I go? Yeah. You can go down, like, uh, well, what, how much movement do you have? Five. Six. You're there. Yes, you're, you're there. there. You're there. Yeah, so you charge out the door at her yeah. uh, as she kind of stands. And it wasn't necessarily expecting you to charge out, but she's ready for you. Go. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm hitting with the long sword. Oh, okay. oh dude, it's. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I have advantage. You have advantage. Yeah. Woo! Okay, that's better. Dirty nice. 20. Okay. Oh, come on. And. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add some divine smite yeah. onto this. Yeah. Is this a undead or fiend? Fiend. Because that would get me more d8s. Ooh. More d8s, d8s, d8s plural. Just, just get all the. I got some so extras. I'll, if you... I'll do the first with the slashing. Is this is nine slashing damage I'll keep plus. Nine. Um. Wow, eight, ten. 15, 17 radiant damage. Nine, 17. 17? 17 radiant, yeah. So how much is that altogether? Six all told. Yep. Ooh. And she takes the full on the radiant. Damage. As you're running out, your sword um, starts to glow with oh. radiant energy. Um, as you um, race, race out, you swing in a wide arc, cutting really deep into her kind of chest area. Um, as she screams out in pain. Uh, again, not quite expecting somebody to charge out at her the way that you did. Uh, and she's not looking so good, bloodied. Uh, and it just basically looks like an old kind of woman, warts on her face, the woman you saw pushing the cart. The cart is still a ways back, full of meat pies. As Jay, my turn, I'll just say, uh, what have you done to the children upstairs? Okay, all right, mm. I like it. Uh, <laughs> Rowan, you're up. <laughs> Sterling, you're on deck. This is um, round five. Mm. Just for your, oh, your silence is done. Oh, sure. I'm dead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna peek my head around <laughs> and see that things are going well, and I'm gonna scorching rays again at the uh, woman. Okay, so you're going to go out again? I'm gonna go stand in the doorway. Okay. Uh, seeing that things are going well, and yeah. I'm gonna scorching rays her. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Phil. Yeah. Uh, first scorching rays. Is insufficient. Second sorcery ray is also insufficient. Mm -hmm. Final ray is 21. Mm. Which is sufficient. <laughs> and the damage is oh, <laughs> insufficient. <laughs> uh, three damage, fire three damage, damage to her. That was um, a rough turn. <laughs> you're trying to get around uh, you're trying to get around Dimitri to find a good uh, trajectory yeah. and it, it it nicks her, but just barely. Um, uh, you do notice though that the radiant damage did well, but the actual sword jam damage itself didn't do quite as much damage as you expected. Hmm. Um, okay. Uh, this is the mother? Yeah. yeah. Can we a sterling you're up? We don't know. We can sue. Callie, you're on deck. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to use my full movement to get as close as I can and have a good line of sight. Remember, so. he double movement to get over that uh, that covered. He can go around right. it. But he can go around it. Yeah. Just got to step on the yeah. squishy so body. I'm going to I'm going to dash mm -hmm. to be right in front of her beside 20, Dimitri. Yeah. Twenty-five. Thirty here. Yeah, oh, and I'll use my 30. dash to finish it to get uh, right, right like beside. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to uh, use my reaction, and I'm going to give. Roan advantage on his okay. next turn for whatever he wants to use advantage on. Nice. Oh, Very good. Callie, you're up. You. Uh, where's the lady? Is there any mean people in there? There is only one mean person outside, although yeah. it's inside right there. Yeah. yeah. Dead? Okay, so I want to go up and uh, do healing hands on the Skoka. Okay, so you Thank you for not forgetting about me. Very good. Uh, that's back. 10. Uh, that To get over that, I'll say it's 10. So uh, 10. Does she have to jump yeah. around though, or she, can she just walk up? She could. Side. She could be very difficult. Are you sure you want to? Okay. Wanna help? <laughs> Healing hands. I know, how, right? how many points? Uh, four. Four points. Yeah. You come back with four points. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Thank you. Are you? Are you? Are you back at all? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. yeah. So he. Yeah. 
He gets up. Yes. Whoa, Jiminy. <laughs> That's good, eh? <laughs> Can I speak to um, All right. Uh, the hag, seeing all of you charging out, not hearing any combat from inside, realizing that her daughters are probably done, again, takes out an another one of those forked rods, does somatic vocal, <laughs> gone. Just as you go to swing through, she's gone. And we are now out of yeah. oh, man. initiative. initiative. Woo. All right, y'all. How was that? It was interesting. It was. <sighs> you now find yourselves outside of the windmill. You are at the top of the stairs. What would you like to do? Yeah, we'll go I'll, uh, I'll turn to the kids first and go, I will change into my normal uh, self. Don't be afraid. Uh, they, they change too. I know, but I am kind and I'm small. Persuasion check. Okay. With advantage because you just freed them. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a 23. Okay. So. Okay, they kind of like, they hold hands and they kind of agree. Okay. And I flip back from my okay. self into myself. Okay, and they, they kind of jump, but then they kind of smile. Mm -hmm. They're expecting maybe somebody a little scarier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I curl my, mm -hmm. my whiskers up, yeah. and I go, let's go! And I hold their hands. They're scared their now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Terrifying. I, I would be. <laughs> and I, I run down the stairs with mm -hmm. them to find the others. Okay. okay. Uh, these are my friends. And I've, look, I found some friends. How did you get down? You ran down the stairs? What are we going to do with them? Oh, I mean, <laughs> trade them for pies. Why not? No, just what? kidding. Uh, oh, 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 set in character. Oh, set in character. That was a joke. They, don't worry about it. it it's not. It's. Uh, it's not true. I was kidding. No, don't worry. It's fine. I was just seriously kidding. though. What are we going to do with a bunch of kids? I don't. I, I have no clue. Oh, we were uh, perhaps. Uh, <laughs> perhaps we can find out what is going on around here. Ask them some questions. Maybe they know something we don't. I'll turn to Sterling. Listen, that's fine, oh, but I'll tell you right now, yeah. I do not have very good maternal instincts. <laughs> I'll turn to Sterling. It's okay. I can take care of them. You'll be their mother. If, uh, everyone needs a friend once in a while. And since Muskoka is such a douchebag, I could probably use a little friend. Um, they're, 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 they're kind I of... lean down, like yeah. I just kneel down. And I know that they're older than this, but I'm just like, you all are potty trained, right? <laughs> uh, they kind of smell each other, and they're kind of embarrassed that they kind of smell like, <laughs> like they are, and pee. Because yeah, you need a bath, and uh, one, two, three, not it. Somebody press the digitation, <laughs> them clean. Okay. And you can now see oh, this yeah. kind of dirty blonde boy. Uh, about seven years old, and a girl with long, scraggly black hair. She's about five years old. And they're holding hands. And they're kind of standing behind Falfer, and they look at you, and they look across all of you, and are kind of like scared, but hopeful on the fence, not sure what to make of it. Oh, I forgot something. I'll be right back. So I leave them. Just watch them. I run up the stairs, mm. all the way up to the top of the stairs. <laughs> I was wondering if you'd forget uh, that. <laughs> and I go and I look into that crate-laden, mm. broken crate room, mm. find the purple velvet pouch or blue whatever, velvet. blue, blue velvet. velvet. Yeah. Uh, you can't there. find the purple yeah. velvet pouch, unfortunately. I, I look for the purple <laughs> one instead. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no go. <laughs> um, you see a necklace oh. that you pull out. Uh, okay. You pull out the bag yep. and you see that there are blue embroidered wings on it okay um, and you pull out a necklace and it's got three uh, red beads um, and they t glimmer and it almost looks like there's some sort of fire that kind of like rotates within it and thank you to our community mm -hmm. for reaching oh! our passing our uh, 1200 dollars goal tw 25 20 what, what is that 2100 $2, dollar goal to get the necklace of fireballs for oh. the party uh, next thing is the uh, scroll of resurrection okay. uh, and let's see if we can get there anyways so, so, so you I'll, get that it's, it's so got I'll, three beads on it I'll take it I'll put it in my pouch yeah and uh, I'll quickly go back outside. Okay. Okay. So in that time that he's gone, yeah, I just want to ask everybody that's around, like, is anybody else hurt? Because like I'm kind of hurt, and I could probably help us all out a bit. 
Um, well, while all that's happening, yeah. we're outside, <laughs> oh. and I'm going to turn to Sterling, and uh, so she just disappears. It, where did she go? Where is she? Sterling, did you see? I did not see. <sighs> and she disappeared right in front of you. Hmm. You saw her kind of shift out right in front of you. Mm -hmm. We need a way to overcome such magic. I agree. Let's, let's see how the others are doing right now. And uh, okay. you guys all go inside. Turn them, go inside. Okay. And you see Falfer come down the stairs, yeah, and you in. see two children kind of up against the wall. Mm. Yeah. Kind of so, afraid. Yeah. We yeah. should take everything of value in here. Oh. I'll, uh, Finally, you're learning, Sterling. Does, his appearance doesn't change, though, right? Yeah. It does. It, well, well, normally it does, but be, because I initiated it in a space where there so it doesn't change. Funding. But, but you've you got know, a different voice? My Warforged voice yeah. is still coming through. Whoa, hey, uh, hey, there was another guy like you around here. <laughs> yes, I bet there was. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm Mohawk. Mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> Muskoka. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> production's laughing at me. Yeah. I forget my name sometimes when I die. <laughs> so I'm probably coming up on my my full minute, right? Uh, after having yeah. initiated this. Yeah. So um, my voice will return to Sterling's, I guess. And yeah. whoa. Yeah. Yes, I know. Whoa. I know you, Miss Oh, oh, <laughs> that was weird. Because I guess you're going through that time, like where your voice starts to change. As I'm walking, I hear <laughs> that. Time? You, you know. Barely know him. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll walk over uh -oh, to the nobody's children. Nobody's given him the talk yet. <laughs> Not it. I was told something about birds and bees, but it didn't make any sense. <laughs> I'll walk over to the children. I'll stoop down to their level, and I'll say. Stoop down. Is that how you treat children? <laughs> Aren't you <laughs> upstairs? <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's down. Get it. I'll go down and I'll say, "Child, what are you doing here?" Our, the boy speaks. Our, our parents, they traded us. What? For the pies. Are any of the ones, the wow. ones that I tried to that, that rescue? That really sucks, kid. No? <laughs> Why would they do such a thing? I, uh, just to myself, ashamedly, like with full shame in my heart, I can kind of see myself doing that in the future if I keep going down this particular path. Doing what? Well, pies. trading pies oh. Oh, for yeah. children. Yeah, yeah, Cause, sure. Because I, sure. uh, I got the pie sure. bug. Sure. So I'm just, uh, I just, I, my, I skulk away. Yeah, like, okay. Like, turn away in shame. Okay. They were fattening us up. What? For what? <laughs> what do you mean? I'll turn to the other. The, what? the other children didn't make it. They ate them. <laughs> and then they what? took their bones and they grind them up and they make their pies. Destroy the pies. <laughs> And that is where we're going to go to break. <laughs> <laughs> you guys vomited before I said it. <laughs> well, I mean, All right. you can be. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go to a quick break. Uh, it's late, um, later than I expected. Um, I'm assuming you guys saw that coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but. All right, uh, Barovia, right? <laughs> uh, not as bad as I thought. I thought it would be like the flesh of the children was the pie. The bone, ground bones, it's bad, yeah, but you know, yeah, yeah. I thought it was yeah. going to be like well, you child have to flesh. Go through the flesh to get to the bone. I get it. <laughs> I, cannibalism is cannibalism. No, no I get it. I get it. But it, 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 you know, mentally, it's not as bad as I thought it was wow. going to be. I, I was ready for like child thumbs to be. Yeah, in well, the, hold on. Know. Isn't no. the is the bones in the pastry and the meat is yeah. in the pies? You can no. ask them when we come back from break. Well, he oh, said wow. that they ate the children and then... All right, uh, let's do a draw for <laughs> the uh, Mithril Armory giveaway. Oh. Let me free you. Hmm. Mithril with eating bones, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that. I just thought it was going to be... Do we have a draw, Julian? A winner? Who is it? 
Tin 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 you have won uh, a tin twenty uh, from Mithril Armory. Uh, Tam Good is the one that sent us the wonderful gifts. Her and her husband um, just uh, last session. Uh, I want to thank you again for that. It's so wonderful. Yeah, so cool. And uh, there you go. Um, Fortune smiles. All right. Um, what happens in this break now, Jay? We do another one. Yeah. So we'll start another giveaway, right? Is that how it works? Yeah. Can we do a different? Do, do we have to do a different code word? No. Right. You picked a winner, and we can keep going, right, Julian? We, uh, you picked a winner. We can keep going with another with mithril another giveaway. giveaway. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So again, you can, can you can again put mithril into the chat, or do they enter it again, or do, does their entry do they get disqualified if they uh, do it a second time? Uh, well, no, no. I want to. We want to roll at the end. Yeah, that's what he means. Yeah. We just okay. Just we'll, restart we'll, re it. We'll, just... we'll restart it. We'll restart it. Right. Okay, we restarted it. Enter Mithril into the chat again, and you get a chance to win a second uh, Mithril Armory Tin 20. Um, want to thank our sponsors, as usual, our title sponsor, Sirenscape and Beetle and Grimm, uh, for all of their support. Want to thank Dungeons and Dragons, of course, for hosting us. And uh, I, um, yeah, that's why I got you guys real pies, is because yeah. I want to tell the rest of the group, but that's kind of why, because I wanted that visceral. <laughs> oh, man. Like, I get it. I get it. It's terrible, mm. but I get it. Yeah. 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 It's fun. Well, I'm glad I don't eat. What's that? <laughs> I'm glad I don't eat. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Be glad. Oh man, how is Falfer gonna react to that one? Oh man. Yeah. Right. How you doing, Esmeralda? I'm doing good. good. Um, am I able to make a quick announcement? Yeah. Sure. Or... Do it. Uh, yay. So we have our third episode of uh, Carnaby Street Case Files. That is our call of, monthly Call of Cthulhu game on twitch.tv slash The Initiative Order. So that's going to be July, I'm uh, sorry, August 15th at 6 p.m. Nice. August 15th, 6 p.m. Um, perfect. And I will sit in the... D My microphone may just may just reach um and i'm going to go see on discord if we have any questions um uh, i'm not sure questions for players here we go um okay so here sure enough sidefar is putting questions together for me thank you sidefar and and apologies our other camera that's at the front of the room for some reason for the dm view is like not working for some reason. So uh, apologies if if I am so far back that you can't really tell, but that's okay. My voice, just follow my voice. It's just my voice. Um, so destructive cleric question. What is the coolest part about how Realmsmith has grown within the last year? Oh. Okay, um, well that requires some context, first of all. Um, it would have been just over a year ago that we met Nora, actually, at Gary Con. Yeah, that's right. Right? So not that long ago. Uh, actually, no, because I was in March. So a year and a bit yeah. ago. Um, so I'm trying, to, I'm trying to kind of time lapse, time warp into the past here. Uh, there's been so many, there have been so many crazy things that have happened. Probably for me... The coolest thing is the way the community, uh, the whole kind of RPing idea and kind of involving the community in our, in our campaign settings was, was kind of birthed. And that's pretty recent. Um, started with Wildmount. We always did it to a point, mm -hmm. like through our, our Facebook group and stuff, but I, I think this is where like it, it finally really came together. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Um, we we've always had this goal of getting people involved, and we obviously did it with the you know we did it with the last season of Into the Mist with the with the keys and um, and, and keys? working with Extra Life. Um, but it, it's a it's a little bit different when I don't know when our viewers and community can kind of create characters and then involve themselves in the storyline and i think that's 
really the the deeper way i don't know i just i just love it so much i think it's crazy and i think it's amazing and i want to do even more of it um which is why i was saying i will be in the discord after this to uh to try to manipulate you guys into giving me some cool stuff i'm not sure i'm allowed to do that but julian will kick me out if that um, i don't know <laughs> oh really well, aren't you doing know. it well i put my mic back on because i didn't think it was happening now so. oh <laughs> it is definitely happening. Oh, okay. All right. Then yeah. I will take my mic off then. Okay. And, and then I will pass you this. Okay. For, well, um, I guess I can do it from here. Okay. You could I will, do it from there. I will In fact, put my mic on. You might want to take the middle seat to do it. Okay. Um, and just because. I will. Oh, where, where, where did you do it? In the Originally, oh, good though, point. But we don't have the. Uh, so you're gonna have to sit here, Brandon. But we do don't it. have that camera, so it's we'll not fix gonna... it. I'll, I could probably fix it. Okay. I'll yeah. Take my mic off. Um, and... So let's do that, and then I'll I'll continue with questions after. Hey, in the meantime, guys, we have a special guest who is going to join us, who always um, has something interesting to say, and so uh, without any further ado, here is our special. Gregoria, not Gregoria, Gregory. <laughs> okay. You're gonna need Hello, I am back. I am a Gregory, and uh, thank you very much to my brother who uh, had filled in for me at the end of last season. Uh, and just as our illustrious heroes are helping the kids, you too can help the kids because. Every single dollar you donate to Extra Life through twitch.tv forward slash realmsmith uh, will not just go to helping the party, but it goes, more importantly, to helping the kids. Extra Life is a wonderful charity who supports Children's Miracle Network hospitals for those kids who truly do need a miracle for someone to stand up and help them and help to save lives and help them to to uh, recover from horrible illnesses all over. All of your donations will be going to help save the kids uh, in Toronto uh, Children's Hospital through Extra Life and the Children's Miracle Network. Uh, yes, this is a wonderful hat. Now, uh, the kids, do you have any questions for me? I do have questions for you, Grigori. Um, now, how do people go, oh, crap, I have to go put this on the Twitch website because I have not done it. How do people donate to Extra Life? You go to twitch.tv forward slash realmsmith mm -hmm. and you scroll down to the bottom, I believe. Yes, but what yeah. happens if someone forgot to turn the Extra Life gadget on the Twitch channel? We just have to remind that person. <laughs> and this person will do a wonderful job and they will fix it and then you will be able to donate to it. Help the kids. Of course, you can also go to the Extra Life website and look up Realm Smith, and there you will be able to help the kids, donating specifically through this uh, charity charitable campaign that we are running here. Perfect. Yes. How many things have we collected so far? Do you know, Grigori? Well, we have just gotten up to the fourth out of five in this current goal. Uh, the necklace of fireballs has just been given to the party. And the next thing that is going to come up after we have accrued 2,500 gold pieces, I believe they're called dollars in your world, um, <laughs> yes, will dollars. be a scroll of resurrection. And wonderfully, there is now a person in the party that could actually use it. Or we could trade it for moon pies. You could, but then you would be a horrible person. Because <laughs> yeah. you're not helping the kids then. You're eating the kids. <laughs> Sorry about that. Shame on you. <laughs> of course. Come on. <laughs> it's yeah. for the kids. Yeah. Come on. Yes, eh? agreed. You're right. So here we are. Thank you, everybody, for all of uh, the donations that you have made so far. We mm -hmm. know that this is going to be a wonderful season. We are very excited right. for oh, everything yeah. that is going to come. And... Uh, we just want you to know that uh, this uh, truly does touch our hearts to know that you care so much for the kids as we love the kids as well. I love you, the kids! I love you too, Gregory! Thank you, Gregory! You're awesome! <laughs> so, don't forget to donate at extralife.com. Uh, 
extra dash life.org extra dash life.org and look up realm smith or go to twitch.tv forward slash realm smith if it is turned on and <laughs> so that you can die yes the kids are going to go fix it now hey good job the kids all right we love you the kids and everyone remember donate for the kids and uh now i'm going to take off my grandmother hat Take coffee. Take okay. coffee. Hey, I think at some at some uh, at, at some sort of donation, Joel needs to dress up as Madame Ava and give a Taroka deck reading. It's a, it's a regular Friday night for Joel. <laughs> <laughs> we should uh, go back to our wine shop. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh. Or just that one. Or this one. Hi, this camera's yeah. working now. Hey, uh, hey yo. Yo. You got fixed, eh? Awesome. Oh, it is warm in here. Is, is this Joel's phone? Huh. It's mine now. You take selfies with it, eh? So this is oh, why I told I said before when you guys left, that's why I got actual pies. It's because I wanted the visceral memory of that oh, to be the flavor. Yeah, but uh, that's great. And they're well, really good. <laughs> and they're really good <laughs> pies. Yeah. yeah, thanks for ruining uh, them. But uh, ruin pies for everybody. Yep. Mm -hmm. yes. I don't know why you guys are complaining. You guys didn't eat them. I did. I did. I, I wasn't two eating them. Yeah, the I didn't stream, eat them. I, 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 I ate, ate the real life not. pies, but not the. Yeah, yeah. I, I ate the real life pies. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't like saying this, but I still think they're pretty delicious. They are. They pretty are really delicious. delicious. <laughs> they were really good. <laughs> the ones you got were really good. Um, okay. Yeah. Wow. They're artisanal. <laughs> they are artisanal. Small batch. Are kids in Small. Are they are kids in Are kids in all? That's so bad. <laughs> that hurts my heart. Our kids. Oh, our kids. kids. Our kids. In all the pies. In all. <laughs> our kids in all the pies. Okay. All right. That's enough. Okay. All right. So you guys just had Stretch and were faced with the horrible realization that. Uh, the dust of children's bones, uh, made from the made from the bones of children, were used to make the dream pies, which is why <clears throat> they caused the effect that they did. Okay, so. Um, but high in calcium. And oh, I uh, I fall to my knees <laughs> upon yeah. this realization. Yeah. And I just uh, I I pull open my bag. Yeah, you gotta move over a bit. Right now. Yeah. So sorry. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, I scooch over there, Dave. Hey, not too close, Hoser. So I I uh, <laughs> I I fall to my knees. Yeah. I pull my backpack from my back. I pull it open, and I pull the pie, the left, the the, the pieces that are left. Oh, you have a dozen. No, from my no from the previous season, I had half a pie left. Um, yeah, in my bag. So I pull it out, and I just. I, was, I like start like tearing up, yeah. and then digging a hole in the ground. Okay. And well, I you're inside the the. the I, I I'm digging through the stone. <laughs> okay, you're trying ground. to. No, okay. Yeah. Uh, no, but no. I. So then I put it on the ground and I just smash it to bits with my fists. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, okay, and the kids. Not right. And no. You're, right, you're out in front of the the door, kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, you guys are still outside. You hear gasps and retching from inside. You didn't hear what was just said. Um, and, um, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to slowly stand up and I'll... Oh, uh, you are inside. You guys are not, right? You guys stayed outside or you guys came in? Well, I figured we all would. I figured... Well, I thought we, I... No, we said we He said we he walked. came in specifically, but did you guys say that too? I thought I said that, okay. but maybe I didn't. You're all inside then. You all yeah. heard that. Okay. okay. Little bit. Um, I'll stand... I'll slowly stand up. And I'll look over at Sterling, and I'll say, you were right. This place is an abomination. This whole world is an abomination. We must destroy the pies, take everything of value from this windmill, and then burn it down. Yes, I agree. You want to know what's really messed up now that I think about it? That the parents were like selling their kids in order to eat more kids? Let's not talk about it any further. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I like. Uh, uh, we <clears throat> must get rid of these uh, pies right away. Give me a const. All of you who ate pies, give me constitution saving throw, please. Everyone with a pie on your person. 
<laughs> Throw it into the middle. It'll well, be that's sort of. I have those four pies that were. That's on the edge. I'll re-roll it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what did you roll? <laughs> and I, I, I can't see I, what that I is. Rolled an eight. Looks is like that a one? A number one. one. It's a oh, one. Everybody can it's a see the one in the middle one. of the table. Wow. wow. You, <laughs> you get on all fours and you are retching beyond and actually incapacitated for about 10 minutes. Okay. As you just like come to the realization that you just ate children. Th this is very touching well, I mean, to me. I mean, not like I, all I, children, but like a <laughs> little bit of children. Are you having a hard time with your I'm fine. What's going on? It's, just, it's always this microphone. Yeah. Mm. So witnessing this is very, very touching to me because I, I didn't think he'd have this kind of a reaction. So I kneel down next to him and I put my arm over Roan's shoulder and I say, there was no way of knowing. <laughs> let it out, man. Let it all out. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll be doing this I'll the next ten the, minutes, guys. <laughs> I'll get the cart of all of the pies, there and I'm going to start piling them all on this wooden table. And I'll say, quickly, everyone, loot this place for everything it has. Take everything of value. Find all of the gold. Find all of the <laughs> magical anything that is of use. Take it all, and we'll burn this place to the ground with the pies inside. Is that a savage? Yeah, that's that's a savage. I, I was like, I was looking at Nora, around. wondering like, is that she Nora? I thought it was Nora. <laughs> I was like, um, no, 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 no. no. It's like, is that Nora, is Nora, Nora having that issues? That's very real sounding. That's very. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, that, you know I hate that. that. It's, it's, Oh, you could like, you could like oh hear that god. they didn't really. Oh my god! Oh. I'm dying. No more. The, the sound of it hitting the ground. <laughs> yeah. For all those people uh, at home with a weak stomach, oh. or with without oh, a Sirenscape was... subscription, yeah. <laughs> then you can listen to this as much as you want. Sorry, guys. What a here. show. Right. Oh, I love Why is this happening? Noises. Troubled days we live in. Oh, my gosh. Can we get back to <laughs> the outrage? Wait, that's As what we mean. No. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over to the body of the one that was laying there. Yeah. And I want to get my gold coin back. Because I gave her a gold coin, for, <laughs> yeah. coin for, the, yeah. for the pie that I threw on the ground. I want to get my coin back. Get okay. all the money. Uh, yeah, you actually find it in some Yeah, all, all of the gold that I'm taking away. my coin back. I want to search her for yeah, one of those, uh, for any of the magical items, like the blue or the black uh, pronged thing that she, they used to. Oh, a fort. I, I, want, I want to look through uh, oh, her stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so components. she has a uh, little rod with a, a forked rod. Mm. Is it like um, a Like fork? the others? It's like she, a fork, like a pie. No, like a, a rod with, with like two oh. prongs on it. All right, I'm going to grab that. Okay. Does she have a diamond worth 500 gold pieces by chance? <laughs> <Like a laughs> <large knot. laughs> she does not have that. Um, but other than that, she doesn't have anything else on her. All right, I'll take that. As as we're piling the pies into them into the the cart or whatever it was that we were piling piles in, pies into. Just sorry, the that's, it's worth 250 gold. Sorry. Wow. Um, yeah, as that's happening, I uh, I look at the the last pie that I'm about to throw on this pile and burn, and oh. yeah, the the oven right now is has pies and they're starting to burn. You're starting to smell like a burn smell because they're supposed to take them out. Okay. This happened, and okay. the pies are starting to burn in there. So there's pies on the counter. There's pies oh. in the oven. There's pies in the cart outside. I, I I've Why been bringing all the pies. You're, you're surrounded outside. by meat pies. We've been pi piling the, the cart pies on top of the wooden table. You're freaking killing me, you Azabeo. How much do I have in me? <laughs> you rolled a natural one, you won't pay for it. How much, oh, how much food so we're did We're burning this whole place down, right? After we get everything yes. of value. After we loot? Yes. yes. Okay, so what do you do? We and loot. Kelly gets Bomb it. No. Okay, so you're going to uh. search <laughs> Sterling. Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Okay. We're going to take everything of value from this place. Wherever they hide their gold, we're going to find it. Okay, I'll, well. I'm going to go upstairs. Give me an investigation check, too. please. Yeah. So you're starting right. in the ground floor. I'm going upstairs. Yeah, I would Sterling? also like a refund on when I made it rain pies yeah. from earlier, which I deeply regret. Okay. <laughs> um, so in the shadows, outside of everyone's view, yeah. I store one of the pies in my bag. You are a horrible person. <laughs> Just one? Just one. One of the full ones from today. Okay. Okay. Wow. All right. What'd you roll? A seven. Okay. Um, you, you're actually closer to it. There is a barrel just on the other side of the cabinet from you. As you start going to look around, mm -hmm. the cabinet is the first thing that gets your attention because it smells really bad. 
um, and you kind of open up this, not cabinet, a, a, a barrel. You open up the barrel, there's like a lid on it, and there's a glistening greenish black kind of ichor inside it, and it stinks okay. really badly. Because the vomit all around us is pleasant. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. not so great. Uh, I'm gonna start walking outside uh, to continue my business. <laughs> yes! Why are you doing oh this? It's, it's, it's you. You said vomit. Yeah, well, now natural one. There's no. <laughs> it just comes. From, no, no holds barred. It just comes from everywhere. <laughs> You're all gonna die for witnessing this. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm You're very uh, embarrassed. Okay. Yeah, careful where you step, guys. Um, <laughs> um, there's a cabinet, um, which looks like it's full of bowls, herbs, and baking ingredients. Mm-hmm. Including flour, sugar, several gourds of uh, powdered bone, it looks like as well. Okay. Um, hanging on the inside of the cabinet doors are a dozen locks of hair. Amid various concoctions are three mm-hmm. small labeled containers that hold elixirs. Okay. The first one is labeled Youth, and it's a golden syrup. The second one, um, sorry, the second is labeled Laughter. And it's kind of a red kind of uh, color, and then the third one is a greenish, milky liquid labeled Mother's Milk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want some of that. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna walk up the. Sorry, there's Sorry, also a, a chicken coop. I had mentioned the, the sound of chickens before, and a wooden trunk that seems like it has a bunch of toads in it. Okay. I'm gonna that walk... is the the main floor. Go ahead. I'm gonna walk up the steps, mm-hmm. pick up the dagger that's shimmering there. He already picked it up. Who did? I didn't. I didn't pick it up. Yeah, I don't think. Oh, he no did. one. Okay, no yeah, one did. yeah, you pick up the magical no dagger. One did. Are you okay. doing it carefully? I'm doing it carefully. Sleight of hand. Okay. I don't know this. Where am I? Uh, Can I not see? Well, yeah. we're about to find this out. This is a fourteen. Oh. Oh. What's your passive perception, Melanie? Oh, what? Oh, passive, d- 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 passive perception. D- 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 it is um. Is it? Fourteen. <gasps> Meets it, beats it, do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, <clears throat> yeah. I think that's only for armor class. I think with contested, you roll off, I think. It's, is it a roll off? Dun, 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 Sounds dun, fun, dun, so why dun, not? Dun, why not? I think we will. D20, but I, I know I know that it's only like, yeah. Do you have Eye of the Tiger on there? No, I don't no. want this one anymore, you <laughs> take that. <laughs> I have more vomiting sounds. <laughs> I'm outside! I'm sure there's okay. people in the comments right now that are like, just stop! What'd you get? I got a six. I got a 14! <laughs> oh. You pocket the dagger. Okay. Uh, is anybody else around you? I would say uh, well, you get a, a, a check and Dimitri gets a check because you guys are right facing well, I already the said stairs. The check or, or just pass oh, it? Where'd you go? I already said I was going upstairs. Okay, so you're gone. So you get, you yeah. get a uh, um, perception check. Well, yeah. well, no, what's your what's your fourteen? Yeah. What's your passive? My passive is fourteen, Four, so fourteen uh, as well. So roll the d twenty. Okay. You roll the seventeen. Yeah. Yep. Just now. Well, it's, oh. uh, it's a natural one. Okay. Oh. You have no it's idea. Really what's going good. On. No, of course he doesn't. He's a tiny guy. Do, 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 do. Like, how did we get here? Do, do, do. Um, <laughs> that's a merciful one. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, that's a perception check. Uh, my okay, eyes fall out. Uh, you've headed upstairs. What do you do? I'm just looking around to see if there's anything salvageable from this unholy place. Okay, so you you get up to the second floor. I, I mentioned before, dirt, cake, uh, dirt caked windows don't let a lot of light in. There's a millstone in the middle with a, a rod that goes up through, and there's nothing else really in here. I light a torch. Okay. Uh, and I'll keep going upstairs. Okay. You come into a small cramped room with two crates that have been busted open. Um, there is a kind of hay-filled mattress that is kind of lying on some make a makeshift kind of bed frame, uh, and a pile of children's clothing. Hmm. I see the children's clothing and what this is like a bedroom. And, and there's a ladder that climbs twenty feet. Yeah, and I just uh, start growling and just getting really angry about this whole situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'll climb the ladder. Mm. Okay. See what's at the top. And then up in the very top, it's an empty room with scattered remains and debris. Give me an investigation check if you want. You're looking th- actually through stuff? You took a cursory look er, down below. Mm-hmm. Up here, you're actually investigating? Yeah. You're searching? Okay, give me an investigation check for this one. Okay, I'm going to get up top. Hmm. Uh, nothing. Just, just debris. Trash. Okay. Is there any way to get 
to the top? There's no visible ladder, so you imagine they'd have to bring one up. It doesn't look like it's been used in a long time. Cobwebs have kind of choked off the area, but there's a trap door that you imagine goes because you're in the dome area of mm. the... Of the um, is, can I pull... Or above it. Is this fixed oh, to the wall? Can I just pull it up? Um, you can absolutely try, but there's no... The, the distance between here and here, <laughs> here and here, is much lower than, there, than the 20 foot. This is a ladder that's meant for that 20 foot distance. Oh, so yeah. you can't actually clear the ground with that big ladder. It'd have to be like mm. a 10 foot ladder. Right. right. Okay. Can I climb down, stack some crates? Yep. Yeah. And then put the ladder on the crates <laughs> so that it pokes up a little higher in the upper level. And, yeah, and you can also try and just climb the wall if you want. There, it, it's an older thing. It's got kind of cobble on the walls, so you can try. I mean, athletics check. Sure. What's the worst that could happen? Fall all the <laughs> <on> the <bottom>. <laughs> <laughs> Going through levels. <laughs> okay, 18, you get up there, no problem. And you kind of like hold onto the side at the top of the kind of the dome area. Uh, and you can see that it's kind of rusted um, and it, there's a bolt. Kind of a, across the the trap door. I'll I'll try to pull the bolt out to try to unlock it. Yeah. So give me a strength check, please. Huh. Wow. With so you're holding with this yourself advantage. against <laughs> the walls and you pull yeah. out the bolt with your teeth. No. And yeah. well, with this, this feet uh, against the wall in one hand. You can't do that. No. Twelve. Uh, <laughs> Not today. Yeah. <laughs> with one hand, you kind of strong arm the bolt, and we'll get back to you in a second. What are you guys doing? I'd like to. Are there like cloths around? Um, there's like some rags. You Here's find what some... I'd like to do. Yeah. I'd like to take the kids over to the the bucket of water that's there. I assume that's it's not, not a bucket of water. Oh, that's it's the not? greenish, blackish, brackish. Well, it's not going to be that. Yeah. Is there some water? Uh, not that you can see actually. Okay, I'm going to use my water skin okay. <laughs> uh, to wet some cloths and just yeah. try to clean them up. Okay, and the then... kind of like. Give me a um, persuasion check to see if you can kind of talk them into helping them out. 18. Hmm. Great. They they welcome it. Yeah. So we, we'll just get you cleaned up and get you out of here. Uh, okay, thank you. And I'm going to watch him do this knowing full well I could have, I was just going to press the digitize, but I'll while he's doing that, I'm just going to pew pew all of the puke spots on the ground. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll say, I'm going to ask them though, like, so like, do you want to go back to your parents or? No, yeah, okay. <laughs> they just uh, sold them for pies, man. I know, but you gotta ask. <laughs> where, okay. where will you take us? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, where do you want to go? You got like an aunt or something? Um, no, but um, we always, I always trusted. Um, I don't know if you know them. Uh, no. Um, Ismark and, and his and his sister Irina. They. Hmm. They live in the village of Barovia, where I'm from, and they're always oh, very nice. Oh, get out of here. Oh, we're totally looking for her. So that's great. You could come. We'll just get you over there. Okay. Her. Oh, yeah. And they look like they, they visibly warm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Idea. Do they have any food here? Apple, pineapple, anything? There are, like, yeah. There, there's, like, crates of... Different... Pineapple? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I'm going to grab just some veggies. Okay. And I'll give a couple of veggies to them. I'll be like, hey, don't worry. I'm not trying to fatten you okay. up or nothing. Yeah, they fall down. <laughs> I don't think pineapple <laughs> grows in this climate. You missed it. Oh, I, I said so they fall dead. Oh. I'm just kidding. Oh <laughs> my oh. gosh. <laughs> I said it and you turned away. Almost like your mind couldn't handle anymore. Yeah. It was like, I will not. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. Having gone Jeez. up the, the stairs to get the dagger, I'm yeah. going to climb into this room where this ladder is. Yes. I'm going to climb up the ladder. Okay. Okay, I'm now I'm going to attempt to pull up the ladder, but I'm going to put... As it gets to the level where it's hitting the ceiling, I'll shove both my ikawas underneath. So your that whose? Shove I, your I what? Carry, I, I, your I, what now? I don't think I, that's legal in Ontario. I carry two ikawas. You guys have never seen them? Show us. Yeah. Do you have a picture? Show us yeah. your ikawas. Yeah, show us in your I'm equipment good, list. I'm good, I believe you. It's, it's, it's it's I always, I'm, I'm just kidding. Know what are they? Yeah. Well, nobody, They're, literally, literally nobody knows what this is. What, what letter yeah. does it start with? <laughs> yes. It starts with a Y. Come on, guys. He's got two Ikawas. I have two Whatsits. <laughs> and, uh, Isn't that the capital of the uh, Ikawa <laughs> is a simple melee weapon that is traditional weapon of the Chilton Warriors. An Ikawa consists of three wooden shafts with a steel and a stone blade up to 18 inches long. It costs one gold piece and deals 1d8 piercing damage on a hit. I have never wielded them. Okay. But I have them on okay, my so, person. So, so you're trying to, oh you're using these. I'm using these two. 
Yeah. To basically put under okay. in into one the of stone? the holes. No, into, into the stone. Yeah, yeah. Oh. There's, a, there's an opening in the ground that the ladder is coming up through. Yes. Right? So I'm going to use oh, either oh, ends of okay. the thing and shove my ankle off through and hold up the ladder so that I can climb up to meet Dimitri. Okay, so, okay. Oh. give me... Um, what are you oh. using? Ikawas. One more time. Ikawas. Give me like a dexterity check just to see how well you kind of like put them in and, and, so and support them. That's what he said. <laughs> what do you think he's full of crap? Can you imagine he's just making this up the entire time? Oh, he's like full of children. <laughs> surprise me, frankly. I'm not. Look, look at the spelling that we We find drop. out like season <laughs> guys, six. Guys, 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 bring it around. Bring um, it back, bring it sorry, back. Sorry, what was it? The dexterity. <laughs> dexterity? Uh, yeah. So, so, oh yeah, natural ones don't count. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, like Wolverine. Natural 20. Thank you very much. Wow, okay. Hey. From a natural one to a natural 20. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, you managed oh, to do no. it. Okay, and then you climb up. Uh, and you're up there, and this ladder starts to kind of rise. <laughs> From through the hole towards the the, the hole, and you kind of like that's trying. I'm going to say that you managed to, to raise it right to kind of the the. the. Yep. You in the meantime, though, as he's doing this, crack it, and you want to open it. You manage yep. to open up the trap door, and you manage to kind of step out on top, uh, and you're about this tall, high, kind of overlooking the 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 hill that the. Windmill kind of exists. You're not up there yet. No, no, no. Um, yeah, yeah. And you kind of get. Be better than that. You get a, a, a view of a, the a surrounding area. Give me a perception check. Yeah. Shh. They're called eagles. We found it on Google. Hmm. It's just a spear. It's not, it's not really that big of a deal. <laughs> uh, five. <laughs> Sounded better. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty misty. It's dark. Um, the moon has kind of been covered by cloud cover at this point, but it's quite cool up here. Um, as you kind of open it up, there's a, there's a bit of a strong wind. You hear some thunder in the distance. As I look around, I'll um, just surveying the whole area we're in. I'll just shake my head to myself, and I'll say, uh, "This is not right. None of this is right." So can I shimmy out onto the top where he is? Yep. So I sh- <laughs> I get out onto the top. And I also sit down okay. on the top. Yeah. And both turn. of your legs kind of over the side. You guys are kind of sitting there. Yeah. And I turn to Dimitri and say, I, I cannot believe this place. Mm. Nor can I. Falfer, do you believe in justice? I, I want to say yes, but it seems I am somewhat guilty of the unjust. Hmm. I believe in justice. At least I thought I did. You know, this place is making us do things we never intended to do. Hmm. I think all that's left is the choices that we, we make. I think it's up to me now. Up to me to make things right here. Well, I don't know about you, but I certainly know now that we cannot believe a single thing that anyone tells us. It seems we are the only people who can bring good to this place. I agree. Come. Let's start with this mill. Mm. And I'll start heading down. Okay. I'll follow him down. Okay. Do has ten minutes passed. Can I get back yes. in before? All right. Yes. All right. So with I want to go. Sh- in. Yeah. All yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> I wanna. I wanna walk around and look around specifically at the barrels that say, you know, youth, laughter. He found those, and they're little, oh. little mm-hmm. vials. What did you do? With oh, well, if if I if I see him, <coughs> I know he knows about magic. I'd ask okay. him to take a look. Okay. Oh. Um, I want to take that stinky barrel, mm-hmm. and I want to empty it on the side of the outside of the the tower. Okay. See if there's anything inside at the bottom. So okay. I can carry it out and yep. just kind of like. Yep. Uh, give me a Constitution saving throw as you're trying to kind of work through this thing. All right. Oh, that was almost an 18. Um, let's see, Constitution save. That's 12. Um, you manage to keep it back, but it's disgusting and it's yeah. thick and brackish. And you kind of pour it out and it goes shh. Yeah. And it kind of spreads out. Nothing in there. 
Yeah, so nothing and no, no gold at the bottom. No. They must have a secret compartment or something, I yell out to the people inside. Mm -hmm. Some place they save all the gold they collect. They don't carry it on their person. They, they can't, right? Um, with him showing me those, uh, those vials, uh, they're just each a small bottle labeled. Yeah. I'll, uh, you know, interesting. I'll look into this later and I'm going to carefully pack them away. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, other than those, what else was of note? There were, there were, was there more stuff in the cabinets? There was oh, baking supplies. Baking supplies. Um, locks of hair. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it. Uh, any spell components or anything or no. anything that I would recognize as spell components? No. Okay. I, I want to do a, a, a good sweep as well. Okay. Before. An investigation check? Yeah. Hmm. That's seven. Yeah. Just what he's told you and what you okay. see is obvious. Could I check for secret compartments or like illusory things or, you know? Anything? Yeah, with your investigation check, you didn't find right. anything that was... Did you check all the levels? I only checked this first floor. Oh. Hmm. I feel like there would be a basement or something in here. Did you look like in the cupboards and stuff? Yeah, I found some vials with strange names. Nothing I would consider wholesome despite the names. Do we see any of that like loose floorboards on the ground on the first floor? Uh, give me an investigation check. It's all stone, so not boards. Uh, or, like, or anything out of yeah, the ordinary. Yeah, give me an investigation check. Um, 23. Yeah, nothing that you haven't already seen down here. Have we dismantled the crates mm -hmm. and barrels? Yes. I'm going to say, with, for the sake of brevity, yeah. <laughs> there is nothing of, else of, of note import. of import. With that 23, you, she would have found something. Are you going to take the locks of hair Okay. and tuck them away in uh, okay. my pouch? Creepy. Okay. Mm. What else? I turn to Dimitri and, and say, shall we? Yes, I think we shall. Start with the bottom floor. Yes, perhaps the the mill, the windmill blades, perhaps, will go up quickly. Mm. Good idea. Um, so we'll get, we'll reach the bottom floor. Mm. Yeah. And uh, I'll say, Ready? Uh, looking, looking towards you. Yes. Let's burn it down. Hmm. I'll. I'll. Walk right up to the table. And uh, I'll cast. Why don't you take the kids outside? I think it's a lot. I <laughs> take the kids <laughs> outside. Okay. Before the fire starts. Right. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking that. I want to yes, watch. Of course, right? Yeah. You want to watch from the inside because we could see it from out here too. Like, let's watch it from the door. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's see for. I can help uh, starting some of these fires if you need. Yeah. Mm. And I'll go outside and 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 uh, try to start them on the on yeah. the windmill. I'll, we'll we'll so break I'll up cast, the wagon for kindling. I I'll guess. cast yeah. searing smite, okay. which will kind of imbue my sword with oh, flame. Wow. And I'll just start slashing at okay, everything that's out. wooded and yeah, flammable. Yeah, let's, let's give me out, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. So everyone's out. Yeah, yeah, that's clear. That's fine. I'm good. For the sake of brevity, yeah. we can move yeah. forward here. Yeah. Uh, you start yeah. to just, Dimitri, holy that's rage, just, and you have never seen this. Dimitri's always very uh, collected, calm, um, thoughtful, methodical, and he is just giving her in this place. Um, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, in order to get the wind, the, 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 the veins are kind of too high above where you are to be able to kind of reach them like this. But you imagine if you hit the center column and start that on fire, the fire will go up and then go to it. It's a stone yeah. building mostly. Mm -hmm. So the inside Can will Can I burn like up, fire bolt the Sure, the absolutely. Things? You guys right. just. I'd like to light one of my torches yeah. and give it to one of the kids and be like, hey, you want to like light the door or anything? Yes. So I give the okay. give the torch to the kid yeah. to like help. Yeah. Like yeah. But I like well, I watch it closely. You know, I can't leave kids unattended with fire. Yeah, exactly. But watch like the adults do. Yeah, exactly. I'm not. Yeah. Bad. I'm just outside. Well, I didn't point you. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll exit the flaming first floor slowly, oh, yeah. and I'll just walk a couple. Slow mo. Back. Yeah. <laughs> Slow mo walk down the steps <laughs> as it bursts into flames with behind my, him. With my fiery sword. Yeah. It extinguishes as I yeah. put it away, nice. and I just keep walking forward. Okay, and he keeps walking down the path. 
uh, the the of those parents. The uh, cart Lord. of meat pies is ahead, about forty paces. Oh, we forgot. Oh, it is? We forgot to yeah. trade. We got to go put put okay. the cart in. Then can I say just <laughs> oh, no, right I said, before I said I we broke up it. the cart for yeah. kindling. Well, uh-huh. no, you put it back in the next which It's about fifty feet from. There. Oh, it's feather. Yeah. Oh, you did. Yeah, I said we break up the cart for kindling for mm-hmm. to, oh, to oh, help gee. it burn. Is that what we did? Well, that, that's what I. I you I, suggested I, in character. Well, oh, I bet all no the gold was on we the cart. Yeah. It's, it's okay. I'm a kid. I know people don't. Uh, and as you approach the cart, it's like a it's like a triangle <laughs> cart on top with like uh, shelves, and there's like meat right. pies. It's not full. She's coming back, but there's and then so it's a cart like that, and then there's kind of like drawers kind of on the bottom side. Oh yeah, the drawers uh, got the gold. Okay, I'll go up to it, and can I just go through the drawers and just see what what else is in there? Yep. Yep. As as you pull open one of the doors, um, you hear a <laughs> gasp of a little child. In a drawer? I, just, I figured I'd Good thing save you didn't. You didn't uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> with the sword. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Just, that would have been messed wheel you right up. Into the fire. Your yeah. character would be I'll, ruined. Oh my gosh. I'll, I'll kind of. <laughs> you should have let it happen. <laughs> I, I was going to if he. Oh man. Yeah. I'll. <laughs> I have to tell him what it looked like. Uh, yeah. Oh. I'll, I'll kind of snap out of my anger and I'll, I'll just sort of re. Readjust myself. <clears throat> Child, come this way. Okay. We're here to save you. Yeah, thank you. Is there anyone else? Uh, no, that is it. Mm. It's only me. Why? Why is she taking me? Where are we going? You don't have to worry about any of that anymore. Persuasion check. Thirteen. Okay. Yeah, she believes you. She takes your hand. She's a, a, a short, kind of like light brown-haired girl, hair and pigtails. Mm-hmm. I'll Typical say, uh, Barovian. I'll point to where the other children are, and I'll say, "We have a few of you that we're taking back. Just uh, run along with them. I'll be with you shortly." I'd prefer to stay with you. All right, stand back, and I'll do searing smite again. Yep. And just start hacking away at the wagon. Did you search it? Did I? Nope. <laughs> nope. Well, I, opened, I opened the door. Well, I, the, the door. I said yeah, before that I took all the pies out of the wagon and put them on the table in there. So I feel like. Oh, you, you we emptied the wagon. The wagon was all the way out 40 feet from the, from the windmill. I, I, okay. I said it like two or three times. That's all I'm saying. So, like, I, that I emptied all the, the pies from the wagon. So I brought the wagon to the door and emptied okay, the pies on the anything. table. Okay. Okay. Can I light the model on fire just for, you know, no. immersion purposes? No. Not I don't know how Gordon Ford would feel about that. That's fine. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Get. Oh, that. I thought you were. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were grabbing a lighter. I thought I had a lighter down there. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Okay. So, you guys destroy the wagon. You pulled all the pies out. Uh, there was nothing else in the wagon other than the child. Uh, what do you guys do? Check the ashes of the wagon for gold. <laughs> so there's nothing in the wagon. Wait, there's nothing in the freaking wagon. <laughs> so um, let it go, man. We're not oh gonna find out. Oh geesh. So we, uh, yeah. So we'll start walking away. I guess, I guess we have no place to stay tonight. Let us uh, let us walk towards. Um, what is the place again? Velaki. Velaki. Well, okay. we were just gonna sleep outside anyways. Like we'd be warmer now. It's probably true. Velaki's about an hour and a half out. If we make a good pace, we'll arrive there before dawn, I imagine. Yes, let us do it. I mean, it's, it hasn't been that long. You were, you were, you went there around dinner time, so six ish. Um, it went dark around seven. Uh, you were there maybe an hour and a half with Strahd, and you've maybe been here. Oh, then you traveled back two hours. It's like eleven. Okay. Midnight. Midnight. Velaki is only an hour and a half away. If we leave now, we can make it before it's too late. Okay. <laughs> Wreck on that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm no, tired. Riley. I'm tired of this place. Yeah. Okay. You guys head back to Velaki. Uh, fairly uneventful walk back. Um, the usual creepiness, the fog, uh, all of that sort of thing. Um, and you start to approach the walls of Velaki, um, and the doors are closed. Um, as you know, that they keep it um, closed up during the 
evening. Mm. Um, what do you guys do? Can we knock on the doors? <laughs> yep. <laughs> you, you walk up to the doors, uh, you give them a good uh, bang on them, and uh, and a guard kind of opens up the little thing and says, What business do you have in Velaki? What business do we have in Velaki? Oh, yes. We are coming to... Uh, what are we doing? Oh, well, we just need to sleep. We're coming to sleep. And we're returning these children to their homes. Where are the kids? Yes. <sighs> to their homes. The Kolyanoviches, do you know them? Mm, yes. We are here to return children to them. Children from where? From the meat pie factory. <laughs> children from the meat pie factory. Well, I know, it sounds so strange. Sing it out loud. They were prisoners, but uh, we, we helped them out. Persuasion yeah. check, with advantage. Oh yeah, okay. Both of us? No, just one of you. Whoever's oh, helping you him. You're helping him. You better do it. Let's, let me do it. <laughs> um, you can understand what he's saying. That's uh, oh, no, 24. We didn't <laughs> he says, looks at the children, looks across all of you, <laughs> opens up the door, okay. rushes you in, closes okay. it, bars it. Russian. You are now back in Velaki. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> Where do you head? Uh, I should go straight for the Irina and Biz- Bismarck's. May as well. Do we know where they are? We're looking for Irina, and Strahd said he'd lost sight of them mm-hmm. uh, yeah, so two days ago. So maybe we should just bring the kids to the hotel for the night and then look the next day or put them in someone else's care i'm pretty sure strong gave us a location where they lost i'm very okay with putting them with somebody else's care yeah oh no we can't do that i want to ask the kid what is it like her her uh her aunt is that the kids it was the kid's aunt irena would you no. ask the kid oh yeah so how did you know irena <laughs> she's just very nice one of the few here oh yeah or in our village. This what? isn't our. We've never been here. Oh. And they look out, and it's like they're taking in the walls and the and the immensity of Velaki compared to the village of Barovia. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> if you have trouble understanding, my friend, what he's trying to say is <laughs> there is there we we. If you know where they are, or or have any clues about where we might be able to find them, that would be helpful for us tonight. He um, doesn't realize you just we've, said like, We've yeah. never been here. Yeah. Uh, this is a place that is unknown to us. Okay. Yeah. So are we still near the guard? Because if so, I'm going to ask the man. Um, uh, are we? Uh, yeah. yeah okay. are just inside the gates. Is there an orphanage within Velaki? No, I imagine no, many no. people die. No, we're not leaving them no, at the there, orphanage. There is not. Uh, well, they can't tag along with us. Hey, she knows Irina. She could help us. Well, that's who we need to look for because we need to look for her anyway. Yeah, so like she could help us out. Like we do something nice for Irina, she'll help us out. There is no orphanage in, in the town. And there's no uh, orphanage. The church I, is. To the low. guard, I'll say, look, these uh, these children were put in the care of Irina, and we're looking for her. You wouldn't happen to know where she is, do you? I do not. Um, I have saw them come in, and he starts to look around with you. Yes. The other night, and you recognize now that this is actually oh, that's the guard right. that had that had greeted you the other night. And he says, "I, um, I have not seen her since. Uh, my understanding is she went to the church, but hmm. we know what happened there. Yes, we do. I don't. He does not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> okay, let us go to the tavern, find some place to rest. The children can." Bunk in the the bed. I will sleep on the floor, uh, and uh, we will we will search for Irina tomorrow morning. How's that for a plan? Why don't we just find a place to stay for the night with the kids, and we can find her in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> to the Blue Water Inn. Yes, to the Blue Water Inn. <laughs> I start walking in that direction. <laughs> you guys, I, you know the town well. <laughs> um, gray smoke issues from the chimney of this large two-story wooden building, <laughs> the stone fountain and sagging tile roof upon which several ravens have perched. A painted wooden sign hanging above the main entrance depicts a blue waterfall. And you know this as the Blue Water Inn. 
I turn to uh, to Dimitri and Rowan and go, uh, remember that time in the back, you know, the whole, uh, anyways, I, just, I, I love this, I love this place. As you walk in, you take it in, um, it's quieter, uh, closer to the end of the night. Um, the secret door. Yeah. With you exactly. and me. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can tell that the the jovial nature of this inn, which you came to enjoy, is kind of dying down, mm. um, and people are starting to pack up. Danica is behind the the bar as usual. Um, you do not see her husband, Irwin, uh, or any of the boys running around at this point. Um, and uh, what do you do? I'll walk up uh, to Danica and say, uh, "They are back. How are you doing?" Oh, it is good to see you again. I, I'm okay. I'm all right. Uh, children, you brought here. Yes. Would you like them? From. Whoa! We can't give away the kids. I we just saved them. Don't listen. I have enough of my own. I don't need any more. I... Who are they? Danica, we saved them from the from the mill on the on the hill. Um, but we are looking. The mill. F- yes. We saved them from there. They were being. Held there? Yes, they were being held there. Yeah. Do you know what their pies are made of? Oh no. Yes. And and as I go, as I like nod towards <laughs> the kids. <laughs> oh dear. Well, we do not allow her inside our walls. We never trusted that old crone. And now it's good to know why. Yeah, so I don't really feel like we should give them to like a place with a restaurant to keep, you know. <laughs> we are looking for Irina. Have you seen her? And at that point, you hear like, oh, <laughs> and there are two um, men at a back table, and they're carrying on, um, and they kind of see you all walk in, um, and two younger, kind of brash drunkards, um, and dress nobly. Um, hmm with some seeming wealth. And uh, and they look at all you and they're like, you're quite the motley crew. <laughs> what brings you here, Stuvalecki? <laughs> I nudge Sterling and I go, uh, let's play a game. Do you want to play tag with them? Oh, no, no, just follow my lead. Okay. okay. Uh, so I walk up to them yeah. with Sterling. Come on, Sterling. Um, and I'll say, uh, we are, we are uh, famous here. You heroes of the land! Who are you? Huh. Do you not know who we are? And then he starts to, Oh, you're the ones that helped the city out, aren't you? <laughs> Almost got yourselves killed. We have... Yeah. We are the Voxers, of course. If you don't know who we are, you are don't never been here before. You must know who the Voxers are by now. Have any of you ever heard of the Vakters before? How is Give it me a history check. <laughs> All of us? Yeah. All of us? Yeah. 10. 16. 11. Get a 5. 19. I got a 16. Okay. Esmeralda, yourself, and Roan, uh, you guys remember that um, the Vakters are a noble family within Valaki, mm. and you've actually heard some. Um, uh, tension exists between the burgomaster and their family, mm. Volakovich, and the and the Vokters, and they don't like each other, and they're currently mm. vying for power. And the Vokters don't really like the fact that the burgomaster is in the place that he is. Mm. And there's like talk of like unseating him, and as you know, there's been like a, 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 a kind of a rising up against the burgomaster in recent days since the attack. Hmm. Mm. Oh yes, the Vokters. No, I know. Now I remember. Uh, They're the ones that have that beef with the burgomaster. That's right. <laughs> There's no beef. There is no competition with us and them. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny though. Yeah. You know, if you're a burgomaster, you may as well be good with the beef. <laughs> I thought they went hand in hand, no? Yes, exactly. Uh, <laughs> I got that one. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's uh, late, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, of your <laughs> adventures. Entertain us. Where have you been? Well, I don't know how much entertainment it'll, it'll give you, but 
We have rescued these children from the hands of cannibals. Cannibals? That sounds interesting. It was boring until you said cannibals. Well, yeah, and his brother says, yeah, that. it was boring until you said cannibals. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, cannibals. It's not a laughing matter. They need, they need shelter now. They're well fed, though. I'll say. There must be more to the story. Tell us more! Well, the ones that were keeping them, <laughs> these wretched women, mm. they were using their bones to make their pie. Oh. Do I know what a hag is? Can Give I? me a nature check. Okay. Haggis? <laughs> <laughs> I never had the haggis. No, um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is uh, 18 plus a nature check. Uh, so yeah, so uh, 21. Uh, yeah, you've heard of what a hag is. You imagine that this is a hag. Even with a 21, you know that this was a hag of the night variety. Okay. Um, and you've done a lot of research about the kind of the gloom realms. Um, okay. And and uh, and from where you come from, hags are quite prevalent as well. Okay. Um, so yes, there are two uh, two younger night hags and their mother. Uh, and uh, they were they were running the meal and making bony pies, mm. not bony pies, bony pies. And the the younger brother, appearingly, turns to his older brother and kind of nudges him and goes, "I <laughs> like mom." <laughs> He's like, "Shut up!" <laughs> Tell us more. Yeah, where were you? What did you name your name was? Uh, Fucktards. But. <laughs> <laughs> the, the I am Nikolai, <laughs> and I am Carl. Oh, Vaktarts. <laughs> Vakter. Oh, okay. okay. That's all. It is getting really late, though, however, and uh, I imagine we shouldn't take up more of your time, good sirs. But the Burgermaster, right? <laughs> we wish no dealings in your quarrels. Uh, have you seen them? Who? The Burgomaster, uh, Irene, oh, Kulianovich's. They, they have been closed up in their mansion since this whole thing happened. They, oh, they have it coming. They have it coming. Wait, you said Irene. Was that, is Irene in that? Kulianovich's? Is that who we're talking about? Irene and the Burgomaster? The Burgomaster. No, I, Irene and Ismark? And Ismark, yes. I'm, I'm so confused. Me too. Who? Are they the same people? Is I guess that's what they're trying to figure out. <laughs> I don't. I don't believe they are, but they they knew the Burgomaster. I think. Oh. Perhaps. Um, would you happen to know what has come of Irina and Ismark since the events of the church? I yeah, we really do not have know who you speak of. Uh, the Burgomaster is the Valakovichis. Yes, from no. Valaki. They are who are here, and they are dumbasses. Forgive me. I'm just a. <laughs> I'm just a kid anyway. I, I don't know what I'm talking you're, about. You're an interesting one, though. You are uh, metal and big. Is there a person in there? Sure. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I really think it's best that we call it a night. Are we still charmed? Is the Esmeralda? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Good. Yeah. Is still charmed? Unfortunately. Oh, oh dang. Don't Orky. bring up Shrod. Well, uh... <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Man. This could be fun. Could be fun. <laughs> well, uh, we'd really like to find Irene. Do you know her? They are the Kolyanoviches, if I recall. Yes. Oh, wait. I think I remember. They were the Burgomaster's kids from Barovia. Yes. That stupid shit. That is what we yeah, were saying. Yes, know. that's what I meant to say. Yes. Them. Do you know them? Uh, I know or maybe them, like uh, where we could find them. Yeah. I don't care what they do. They're from Barovia. It is a shitty village. Okay, but yes, but like, did you maybe see where they were in this shitty village? <laughs> no. I'm so confused. They are here in Valaki? Oh no, we don't know. They're we're here? No, we don't know. We're just trying to hook up Strahd with his lady. Oh, you yeah, don't you think they'd make like a really cute couple? We oh, he's a uh, well, just... inside check. Okay. Remember <laughs> <laughs> that time when you were talking an, about saying everything to everyone we eight. need? Maybe eight. you had a point. Eight. 
think you uh, okay. I wow. think I have you notice had something many that he perks up a little bit when you say that. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we just had some dinner with him earlier, but... Uh, you did? Oh, yeah, great guy. <laughs> oh, he was... Man, I'm oh, very oh, sorry. Our friend so, has been drinking you should tonight and organ. doesn't know what he's talking tell about. Us more. See, see, and some of the pies. Yeah. Oh, man, like, and you, like chandeliers. He's got great taste in like, the pies okay. Okay. Yep. okay, so I'll we literally, I'll literally pull now. Muskoka and Esmeralda's sleeves and go, Come with me! Come with me! And we go up the steps, up the stairs. Yeah, before that happens, Where are we going? You, are all we notice, you all notice that they kind of... Um, most people scoff and cower at the name of Strahd. They actually perked up to hear more, which is a rare response from people in Barovia up to this point, especially yeah. Barovians. So yeah. what, what kind of um, perked up? Like, like as in... Like, like interested. Um, Insight check. Yeah, because I'm, I'm trying I, to pick up, like, interested in, like, a, they hate him and want to stop him, or, like, uh, they're spies for him. Um, 14. 22. Okay, with well, a 14, um, you think it's kind of more gossipy and, and information that they'd like to hear, like a story mm. that they're interested in. They're drunks. With yours, 23, you said? 22. 22. With yeah. a 22, um, there's more to it. Like, yeah. they have an interest. Um and that they're allied potentially somehow mm. in there. You don't know if they're, they're, they're spies or whatever, but you, you right. get the sense that they, they have some interest, mm. a vested interest in Strahd in some way. Mm. Listen, my friends are very, very tired. We must uh, go to bed. And, uh, and you, you said too much already. Please shut up. But the... And uh, don't worry, we will leave here. You would get along well with my mom. And the other guy goes, shut up. <laughs> Who's your mother? You don't know. Oh, are you trying mom? to set him up too? No, sorry, let's go. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Our father passed a long time ago. Oh. She's very lonely. She could use a. Short beard? What are you? A kid with a beard. I am half. She's probably pretty desperate, so maybe she'd be okay with it. I don't know, but you should talk to her. She loves you... Strahd. Okay, well, she let... goes on about how he will save the land. Well, then and... she's in good company. Okay, oh, let us yeah. go. He's, a, he's all right guy. <sighs> I, uh... I don't know about that, but she's a well, little... Well, you know, I wouldn't do everything that he does, but it's, you know, whatever. He drank my blood, so he I guess... your blood? Yeah, he... Tell no, me just a little bit. Well, he handed me, like, Okay, we have to go night. now, and I'm, I'm, like, I pull them <laughs> you can't away. Reach... Oh, you can't reach up here. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I pull at his, at his. I think it's one of the kids. Yeah. Like at my cape. Yeah, at his cape. So I, I just pull... like try to hand him an apple, like. To okay, keep... so then I actually do pull on his, and it pulls at his <laughs> neck. Strength on checks. What do you guys do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Strength checks. What do you guys do? <laughs> I think discretion is the better part of valor. We should stop this conversation now. It's a little too late for that. Um, oh, yeah, because, like, maybe if they know that we're trying to set them up, that, like, some other guy will try to talk block or whatever. That is not what I'm talking about, Esmeralda. <laughs> Strahd isn't exactly popular in some areas of this land, especially Velaki. It's probably best don't we don't why. mention that. Did you say cock block? <laughs> Um, so, I, so I grab... Sterling, you notice... Yeah, you know, like Rooster. You notice oh. that Danica has taken notice of this conversation and oh is listening boy. quite intently. Right. For our strength checks with him yanking on my cape, I got a 7. And yeah. I got a 21. Yeah, you fall on your ass. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you start and to start drag, drag him. him. You turn around like this, you no. put it around here, you just start dragging drag him backwards I'll, on his, on his like butt. I'll like roll over to try to get on my yeah. hands and feet, which just ties it around my yeah. face. Yeah. <laughs> These but hallucinogenic just... pies that everyone's eating. I didn't eat These the pies. Two. So I, I, uh, I just start going to our uh, room upstairs that we would get. Okay. So I, I'm dragging him up the steps. Yeah. I don't eat him, I'm vegetarian. So reach the top of the steps, reach yeah. the room, okay. open the door. Okay. <laughs> what are the rest of you do? Oh, yeah. uh, I go to Leave Barovia, get fun. back to the yeah, yeah. yeah. And be strong. Yeah. I go to Danica and I say, is there a uh, chance a place where we could speak quietly? Yes, of course. Of course there is. And, and I'll, I'll go, and I'll, I'll kind of wave to Ron and Dimitri to, to come along. Okay. okay. You guys go to the room. Yeah. I, you take I the like, children. I put him into the room. Yeah. I say, children, watch him. Okay. And uh, and I lock the door, or close the door behind him. Okay. What do you do, David? I 
I don't know. I look outside the window, enjoy the cool air, and look for fireflies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Callie, what are you doing through all this? Drinking. Okay. So, <laughs> you, she's at the bar already. Danica's already poured her drinks. She's like three in already. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Esmeralda, can you um, can you go check on Falfer? I don't know what just happened there. Can you see what happened? Uh, I don't know, but I can go check because that guy should not be left alone. I agree. And I will. <laughs> and I will. Yeah. And I will go follow. Okay. See what's going on up there. Uh, All right. So the three of us follow Danica to where. Okay, Danica kind of like. A little on edge now, having heard that you had met with Strahd and, and all that whole thing, kind of walks around the bar and kind of finds a table in the far corner. The two brothers are the only ones left in the in the, in the tavern at this point, or in the, the, right. the common room. Um, she sits down. Then again, I noticed that you took notice of our conversation, and something like that is a little hard to keep quiet. However, I believe that... Uh, you have an ear to the ground in this place, and perhaps you would be able to help us in some matters. Uh, we were recently told to be able to find certain things, and perhaps uh, we could ask some questions. I know, Dimitri, you had taken some notes from when we had spoken to a certain madam, and, uh, and also we're looking for Irina and Ismark, if you may have heard any about where they might be. I believe they're in danger. This is right after she's heard us talking about meeting with Strahd. Yeah. Keep it in game. Yeah. Yeah. We are, um, we know that you're not a friend of Strahd. Are you allied with him? Mm. My understanding is you stood against him in the church and mm. you fought huh. him and protected her and now you were looking for her after meeting with him. I we are absolutely not allied or have any agreement with Strahd. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Deception or persuasion, whichever you think is the one that you are trying to do. Strahd knows how I feel. Uh, <laughs> so that is a 16. I won't say which I think it is. <laughs> And if I am to believe you, um, why are you searching for Irina? I thought she was brought here to be kept safe from him. Yes, and she's not yet safe. There's a few things that are the problem. The, the bones of the saint are missing from the church. If we can find yes. them, then we can bring them to her, and she will be safe. Perhaps. But we need to know where she is, so that if we find the bones, we can bring them to her. Do you have any ideas? Persuasion check. It's 12. You have done nothing but prove yourselves. You helped us with our wine. You helped us save this town from the devil himself. You protected Irina. And I will go with my gut and I will trust you. Um, she was at the church last I heard. I Imagine she's not there anymore. As far as the bones go, I heard they were missing, but there are a number of people you can ask about that. The, the priest, unfortunately, he met his end. Elder Donovich? No. No, no. The, the priest at St. Andrew's Church, hmm. Father Lucian, he perished at Strahd's hands before you arrived. He did. Mm. Mm. And... Yeska, his altar boy, he barely survived. When he, he found survive? Him. Yes. Yes, he barely pulled through. And then there's Yeska, who assisted, assists him. Um, sorry, not Yeska, Milivoy, <coughs> Milivosh, um, who tends to the grounds. He's a, digs graves and takes care of the cemetery. He, perhaps Milivosh has some idea of where they may have been taken. Did, did he, did he turn? Who? The altar boy? No, he did not. Good. He was not that I'm him. aware of. We see a lot, specifically in Valaki, but we have eyes everywhere. Hmm. Well, we have you here. 
as we mentioned, we did get some direction towards things that might be of use to us in our journeys. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to tell me perhaps of any uh, locations of great significance within Barovia? We are strangers to this land. There are many locations of great significance. Some only storied in legend, some well known to others. I, what are you looking for? We, we met a, a Madam Eva, and she, yes. she told us of a reading from from a deck of cards. Ah, yes, of course. And what did she say? Um, the cards were um, five. The abjurer, the monk, the paladin, yes. the artifact, and the beast. Okay, and this what did they tell you? Did anyone write down what she said <laughs> about each card, though? I might have <laughs> limited notes. Clutch moment. Well, I do Joel. have I do have a feat where I should be able to remember things like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, sorry, it's my it's my background. Feet, wherever that is. Uh, number four is the helper in battle, the in artifact, research. the monkey man. So when I attempt to learn or recall a piece of lore, if I do not know that information, is, I usually know where. Um, I'll just see so I, mm. yeah, I guess that doesn't really yeah. exactly help. It just mm. says a researcher. Where to find it. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> a researcher. Sorry. Better notes next time. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's go back to that episode. Yeah. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, yeah. I will give you. <laughs> Yay! Aww. Information, but this is the last time I give you okay. this information. Someone record Thank this. Thank Joel, you. record this. Um, it's on Twitch. Uh, it's all on Twitch, yeah. Okay, oh, she said the paladin. Um, she said, I see a sleeping prince, a servant of light, and the brother of darkness. A treasure lies with him. What was the other card? Uh, the monk. Um, that, that was for which one, that description? That was for the paladin, right? Yeah. Okay. The monk said, uh, I see a flurry of blow. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, give me one sec, guys. Um, I can say weapon. Beast. Uh, the monk, um, the treasure you seek is hidden behind the sun in the house of a saint. Yes. Oh, that's an easy one to yeah. ask about. Well, that might actually be here. Yep. Um, and then, what was the last one? Or there's more? Uh, Abjur and Beast. Abjur, Beast, <clears throat> Artifact. Okay, Artifact is look for an entertaining man with a monkey. Monkey man, and yeah. This man is more than he seems. More than he seems. Um, he had a tiger and a monkey. What was the other one? Uh, the monkey said. Uh, abjurer, monk, paladin, artifact, beast. 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 And abjurer, I haven't said yet, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Moment, please. Sorry. No, it's okay. Um, <laughs> the beast sits it's on a dark throne. Dark throne? Yeah. So that's Strahd. And I can't find Abjur right now. Strahd I have to give it to you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the whole last episode was about his organ. I mean, like... Oh, uh, Abjur is... Uh, the treasure lies in a dragon's house in hands once clean and now corrupted. Okay, so uh, the first one... Um, if I was to say the house of a saint... Would that remind you of any location? The house of a saint? That's right. I mean, St. Andrew's Church would be one place. Uh, any church across Barovia would be a possibility. Um, Is there any well-known or important churches? Wow. 
Why, yes. Um, Is that what you do with the sun? Wasn't there one in mountain in a mountain somewhere? Hmm. The Church of St. Markovia. Yes. Is one that is near Kresk. Check St. Adril. Find nothing there. Go for Markovia. Yes. Yeah. Um, monkey Man is Rictalia. What was the one with the artifact? Was that the... That was the monkey. I see. I have much to do. Of course. To forgive us for giving up so much of your valuable time. Um, should you hear anything that you think might help us to help Irina and Ismark, please do find us. I think that the m- most people we can have knowing the least is the safest place for her to be. That is wise. Mm. He cannot have her. He will not have her. What do you think would happen if, if he had her? What happens to all his other thralls? He plays with them, he toys with them, and then he become, they become one of him. He can't have her. Well, I bid you good night. If I can be of any assistance, I will, of course. Erwin believes in you. And I don't know, you're on a twisted path, I can see. But what I can say is, do not give in to him. Even though in this land, hope is void. There is a glimmer. I see it in you. You've been brought here for a purpose, I just... He is easy. It is easy for him to corrupt those that feel trapped. Good night. Good night. Good, good night. Right. And that is where we'll end the session for this evening. Boom. Goes the dynamite. There it is. Thank you, <laughs> everyone, for watching tonight. That was interesting. It was great. It was a lot of combat. It was a lot of fun role play. It was all kinds of things. Uh, again, if you enjoyed what you saw, please consider subscribing. Uh, and by subscribing as a bonus in our thank you, you'll be inducted into our Discord uh, channel where you can role play as Vistani uh, moving forward, which are a lot of fun. You can go on quests and make, char- make, make characters character. and all that kind of wonderful stuff. So check that out. Uh, you can subscribe at uh, Tier 1. You are a gatherer, which means you can gather supplies to craft, either using Twitch Prime or Tier 1 subscription. Uh, tier 2... Uh, you become a craftsman, so you can actually craft, but you don't have a Vardo, so you can't craft within your tent, uh, camp. And then at Tier 3, you get your own uh, Vistani wagon, which is called a Vardo, um, and you craft at 25% faster than uh, anyone else uh, by being a Tier 3 sub. Uh, and that's just a way of us saying thank you for helping us do what we do. It takes resources for us to run all of this wonderful stuff. Um, and so uh, we just want to thank everyone for doing that. Um, anything else we need to say? Tomorrow night, behind the screen, I will be here. We'll do a Q&A. We'll talk about a lot of wonderful things, uh, answer a bunch of questions regarding uh, episode one and two and all of that wonderful stuff, as well as uh, Thursday night, Player's Table. Sunday night, um, Nolzer's Marvelous Tutorials, and then we're back here Monday for episode three oh. of Into the Mist, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. You guys have a wonderful night, and we will see you tomorrow night at Behind the Screen. Bye! Don't eat children, it's bad! (laughs) Don't eat meat pies. The moral of the story. Sorry.